Welcome everyone back to Pokemon, our living decks here in Pokemon Platinum. We made we made no no progress on Tuesday. Uh, no progress. The episode actually came out on YouTube today. We, no progress was made. So, what I have done in between yes uh, Tuesday and today is I actually got on here and I did the grinding that needed to be done by grinding everyone up to at least level 20. I also took Staravia to 29, mostly on accident, just by doing a lot of switch training. Um, and then I was like, okay, yeah, we'll just... Th they'll, just be our, they'll just be our backup in case we need them. So we, I feel very confident we should be able to beat Jupiter. If we can't beat Jupiter at this point, I, I truly don't know... I truly don't know what our world has come to, and by our world, I mostly mean my Pokemon playing capabilities. If, with this team, uh, we are unable to beat uh, Jupiter, uh, I'll just delete the save, and we will just never, never again play Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but I do remember that she does lead with a Zubat, so we are going to lead with our Sheik, who now has... Um, an actual move worthwhile. Um, also, a couple of our mons I stopped from evolving since those would be uh, potential new placements on the um, in our living deck. So I did stop a couple of them from spawning. We should be able to just one shot her Zubat here with a spark. Ooh, we don't outspeed. Okay, we're still doing fine life wise. One spark. Wow, does not outspeed. Does not outspeed, or does not one-shot. Um, we do get the Paralyze off, though, which is nice. Um, we outspeed, okay, so we must match speed, then. And they just flip a coin to the side, who goes? All right, but that is Zubat down with only a little bit of damage to our Shinx. Um, I honestly don't think it's worthwhile to keep Shinx in. I don't think Shinx has anything, you know what? We can keep battling. And we can at least go for some bites, which I believe are neutral. Um, and we might... I don't think we outspeed this thing, though. No, we don't even outspeed it. And I think one Night Slash kills Shinx. Yeah, one Night Slash kills us. Oh, well, there wasn't really really anything worth keeping them in for. Um, now, Shelios, I feel like, is our, our friend that can do... We do have Staravia, which is six levels over. We should be able to do all the work. Uh, but I want to, as best I can, keep it low. Yo, starting with a poison gas is great. Because that means we at least get to hit one mud bomb. Wow, and it critted too. Wow, that was a, that was a solid crit. That was a, that was a very needed crit. Um, can you go for another poison gas? No, you go for night slash. Does If this kills us. Ooh, okay, okay. No, we missed! Ah, that 85% accuracy. As long as this one doesn't crit, we should stay alive. <sighs> Barely alive. Barely alive. Uh, we do some decent damage there. And we also drop their accuracy. So they could miss us with this next attack. Um, the bright side here, though, is we do have the Skun Tank pretty low on health. We also do have this, which has a which has Aqua Jet, which always goes first, which is nice. Um, so we'll hit an Aqua Jet here. I don't know if it'll be enough to kill. I don't think it will be. It's very close. We can survive. Yes! The accuracy drop assisted us. This should be a, a, a GG. Finally. This stupid fight that we should have finished Tuesday. We should have finished this fight on Tuesday. A thousand XP. Almost enough for a level. Losing to some child. Being careless brought me too much. I think she said being careless. Bum, bum. Well, aren't you tough? It's okay, though. Our official Pokemon statue investigation is finished. Moz has collected energy from the Valley Windworks, and we're pretty much finished here. I'll let you in on one little thing. Our boss is researching the myths of ancient Pokemon. With the power of mythical Pokemon, he will be the ruler of Sinnoh. I suggest you keep out of Team Galactic's affairs from now on. This is your last warning. I got my Clefairy back, and it's all thanks to you. But that Team Galactic, they said Clefairy came from space. Hand it over. 
Their logic baffles me. It's like they are from space. Anyway, they're gone now. Uh, thank you very much. I can't thank you enough right now, but cruise by my cycle shop, okay? Hey, there we go. And that is how we get ourselves a bicycle. Which, if I remember correctly, I think Diamond and Pearl's bicycles uh, were, were different. Like, I think they have gear shifts on them. I, I could be remembering this incorrectly. Um, but I remember them being, like, different from, uh, the bicycles we've had in the past. Because, like, Gen 1 and Gen 2, it was just, like, your bicycle is your bicycle. And it lets you go a little faster. And then in Generation 2, they're like, or you can get special bicycles that allow you to jump things. So I, I can't remember if that is the case in this one. And then we all, we have the ability to head down to the cycling road. Um, which is due south of town. And... I don't know where we are. I don't know where we're heading after that. But we'll have to look and see if we have any new encounters we can get on the cycling road if they have any patches of grass there. Uh, but I do know just from looking at stuff that we do have the chateau we can now go into inside of uh, inside of the Turning of Forest. Oh, Cynthia. Oh, there you are. I was looking for you. I I've got something nice. I wanted you to have this Pokemon egg. Will you accept it? Oh, you have six Pokemon. Uh, you don't have room for this egg. You have to store a Pokemon at the PC at the Pokemon Center first. I'll give you this egg when you made room for it. I'll be waiting right here. Um, I don't know what egg this is. I don't know what kind of egg she's giving us. But, okay. Go ahead and open up our PC. We'll just drop Shinx inside. We'll just drop him in for a second. I don't remember what she's giving us here. Bum, 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 bum. Hi, Cynthia. What will you accept this Pokemon egg? Uh, that's wonderful. That Pokemon inside that egg is happy too. I'm sure of it. Keep that egg with you in your party of Pokemon. A Pokemon will hatch from it while you're traveling. I would be happy to know that it will help fill another page of your Pokedex. Uh, see you again. I have no idea what it is. I do not remember that at all. All right, give me a bike. Thank you for rescuing me. This is something to show my thanks. It's the latest model bicycle. You must take it. I insist. I got the bicycle. Very nice. It's the latest model, so I'll read the operating manual to you. Press the B button to shift up or down. In third gear, you can't go all that fast, but it's easier to control. In fourth gear, it gets harder to steer and stop, but it's fat, really fast. Okay, so it's really, really fast. Uh, let's go ahead and register it. Good old register. Yeah, and I don't really remember it other than it has that. So. So this is fourth gear, I think. Oh, hi. Oh, wow, you got a bicycle. You can ride down Cycling Road and end up in Heart Home City now. It's fast and fun ride. You should check it out. I don't want to. You, you, wait, this is... You shouldn't be able to force me into going somewhere if I want to backtrack. If I want to backtrack, you shouldn't... What? How can they force me? Why? Why does this... Why does games force me? I want to go back the other way. I want to... I want to go back into the forest. I don't know why they wouldn't want us to be able to go back that way. I don't know why they wouldn't want us... I guess... So whenever we get the ability to fly... I guess we'll fly back here and finally get that. We'll head down to Route uh, 206. Um, does Route 206 have any Pokemon available to us? Let's pop up the Living Dex right here. Oh, man, I need to fix this. I don't. I don't know what happened. Used to this would just auto set without me having to go in here and always. Um, there we go. And always like force it to look at the right page. Um, so Route 206, available Pokemon, Zubat, Machop, Geodude, Ponyta, Gligar, uh, Krikatoon, of course, during the day, during the morning or nighttime, and, uh, Gligar we do already have. I'm fairly certain Gligar we already have. Gligar is, Gligar is Gen 2, yeah. Yeah, we already have a Gligar. Um, if we see a Ponyta, that'd be okay just to have, but I don't think we actually have the ability. Oh, no, once we get down here, you can cut the grass and go back up through there. And then we go to the Wayward Cave. Which also has a few Pokemon that we don't need. Alright, uh, okay, so really it looks like right now we're just a straight shot. Moving through the game. Um, 
I don't know if I really care to keep this egg on us right now. I guess we'll keep it on us for now. We'll, we'll keep it for now. Oh, don't tell me you don't have an explorer kit. You should have a word with the man next door to the Pokemon Center. Oh my gosh. I just want to leave this city. That's all, I just want to leave the city. Let's dig up some treasure. I'm from Ouroboro, and I'm working at the mining museum there. I've got advice from the underground man on digging up treasure and spheres. Before I get digging, let me share his advice with you. While you're digging, you may uncover dark rocks. They're very hard. If you keep hitting them, the wall will collapse. Don't forget that, and you'll be digging up treasure in no time. I am, I am the first to have got underground and dug some tunnels. You can call me the underground man. Everyone else does. I'll make a gift of this to you. You hold up your end of the deal and put it to good use. Hey, we got an explorer kit. Maybe now they'll finally let us leave this city. We try and leave this city to go to the forest and she says, no, you have a bicycle, go south. We try and leave south and she says, no, go get an explorer's kit. My gift to you, the Explorer Kit, will instantly take you underground. You need to only use it and you will be down in the tunnels. The underground is a different world where you can do this, that, and the other thing too. Let me mentor you into becoming a full-fledged Spelunker. Will you take on this challenge? No. I had hoped to teach a youngster like you the many charms of the underground tunnels. But I can't force you to accept my proposal if you're not inclined. I get so lonely sometimes. Well, that's your problem. That does not sound like mine. I was going to be so upset if she stopped me again. I was like, I am leaving. I am leaving here. Yo, cycling and Pokemon, which do you prefer? Oh man, if I had to choose between cycling and Pokemon, that's a tough cho choice, Axel. That's, that's the toughest choice I've been given all day. Uh, we'll go with Rock Smash. I set up the double team. I really do like the Pikachu sprite in uh, Gen 4. I think I, I, it's really cutesy and I like it. Right, drop your defense. Uh, and we get paralyzed. Stupid static. We should we should have roll out. Roll out would have been the better play. Oh well. I wanted to just drop defense. Goes for the quick attack. Alright, if we can just hit this one. There we go. We'll at least, we'll at least knock it out. Um, I think Bidoof is one of the ones that I did stop from evolving. And I believe we have another one in... Um, I believe we have another Bidoof in our uh, extra PC we do. Ding, ding! Watch out! You... Uh, or did you want to battle my favorite part about cycling roads is they you just always go downhill. So I don't even have to press down after the battle. I just immediately start going downhill. Alright, we'll go for we'll go for rollout. Go for the ember. As long as we don't get hit with a paralyze, we should be able to do some decent damage here. Go for another ember. Our uh, rollout wasn't the choice because. There we go. I was like, it, it, at least getting paralyzed stops us so that way we can switch out. Uh, let's go to you. Because you can Aqua Jet, be super effective damage. Ember shouldn't hurt you that badly. And I think you're also ready for an evolution. I have an extra of you in the PC. Um. Hit with a Flame Will and then get burned. That was just a bad time for you to come in, buddy. I'm sorry. Go for the Ember, and then we get hit by the Burn. Um, Man, we need a stronger water move. Aqua Jet is great that it goes first, but it doesn't do a ton of damage. Critical hit helps us out, though. Bidoof gains some levels, Bazoo gets some levels. You should uh, get an evolution out of this as well. Level 22. Bye, Cyclist James. Despite all the effort, I'm just spinning my wills. It's always that way with me. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, that wasn't an evolution. What level do they evolve at then? I don't know what level they evolve at then. I'm gonna go back up because uh, both a paralyze and a burn. Both of them are very close. Why was that so slow? Both of them are very close to uh, to KOing, and I don't have a lot of healing items on us, so we'll just run back here and heal. 
And while we're healing, I'm gonna look up what level they evolve at. Because I could have sworn I had to cance, um, cancel their evolution. No, they evolve at level 26 to Floatzel. So Bi Baidu said Shinx was who I had to cancel evolutions of then. Okay. That makes, that makes sense. All right, we'll head down. Back onto the cycling road. Hopefully this egg does hatch rather soon. That way I can either, that way I can decide what I'm doing with it. Cause I really, I don't have any idea who, what's in the egg. Cycling feels great. It will feel even better when I beat you in a battle. Well, dang, okay. No need to be rude about it. Cyclist Megan. Out here saying you're gonna be so excited to beat me in a battle. All right, go ahead and cut my attack. We'll just go for the rollout. Rollout should do uh, some very nice damage. Although the wing attack... Oh, actually, shoot. It's it's going to take it a little bit for it to rev up. It's going to take it a bit for rollout to rev up. And if he hits me with another wing attack... Okay, he goes for double team. Because rollout's just going to keep going until it misses. It's it's the the love hate relationship with rollout. Goes for the wing attack. This might kill us. Oh shoot! What HP? Wow! Baidoof is 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 a god. Baidoof is out here doing great. Baidoof, are you ready to go by barrel? You want to learn Hyper Fang? And you can learn Hyper Fang. Hyper Fang's great. 80, 90, may make the target flinch. Um, see, now here's the thing. Headbutts? Actually, I don't remember. Do Pokemon... Are there headbutt trees in Pokemon Platinum? Pokemon Platinum... Headbutt trees. Is that something I need? Because it was in Heart... It was in Gen 2. And in their remakes. I can't remember if, it, if there, it's a thing in Gen 4. Or if it's only a thing in them. I think it's only a thing in them. Uh, generation 4. But that's Heart Gold, Soul Silver specifically. Yeah, that's just in Heart Gold. So that is not a thing in Pokemon Platinum. Then. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, let's get rid of Headbutt then. That's the only reason I, I kept it. I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. And Baidu've learned Hyper Fang. Very nice. And has 3 HP left, so... We're moving them to the back of the party. Yo, Baidoof is evolving our 365th Pokemon in our living decks because we had an extra Baidoof in the PC, which means that that one now takes the spot, and this takes the spot of my barrel. Very great, very exciting. Things that you love to see. Already starting this episode off stronger. Um, we'll go ahead and switch you... You know what? We'll go ahead and switch you with um, them so we can get Floatzel happening. That right, way we can get Floatzel happening. Did I fight you? Did I fight you? Hi there. Did I fight you? Hi there. I just... Hi there. Hi there. Did I fight you? The frustrating thing about a cycling road is trying to get yourself to be able to fight someone. She's like, I can't let you get the better of me, even though I've been just, like, zigzagging back and forth. Just like, hey, hey, do you want to do you fight? Do you want to fight? Do you want to fight? Shinx would be very helpful here. Shinx would be very helpful here with just a couple with a couple of sparky sparks. And they are also close to, evo to a, an evolution. Endeavor. Unethical Bagel, thank you so much for the contribution to the five gifted subs challenge. So kind of you. So kind of you. Bum, bum. Hit him with that swift. Beautiful. Blind boy, Starly. About to send in another Starly. Now we'll keep battling because I do want to get them up to a Floatzel if possible. We'll just, we'll just hit him with the swift. Um, I think I'm two hits away unless they get a crit. They could theoretically take me out. Um, or they go for a double team. Works for me. Because double team doesn't hurt. Uh, they go for the quick attack. Shouldn't kill. No. The Swift will kill them. And then I think if they... I'm assuming they're probably going to have a third Starly. We'll probably just immediately switch out. Just so that way we get half the XP. 
Because now we're at the point where I'm like, eh. Is a Nuzlocke thing? Today is Living Dex. Uh, today we're just working on catching every Pokemon. Uh, the, we, the Nuzlocke sh uh, is going to return next week. Yeah, Wing Attack's going to knock us. Yeah. It was risky. I was like, hopefully they'll just go for a double team or a quick attack. Uh, yeah, but Nuzlocke will return next week, or Gen 2 Nuzlocke. Today we're just working our way through Pokemon Platinum, because I felt like... I felt like I really didn't get anything done on, uh, Tuesday. Oh! Gotcha. Ask me if I can do both. Uh, I suppose I... I, I suppose it's possible, because you're just... Uh, you're just catching every Pokemon. So you could theoretically do it as a, uh... Uh, do a Nuzlocke Living Dex. Oh, wow. Hit me win the Endeavor. And we missed. Shellus is getting a very... They're getting a very bad hand dealt to them right there. Can you please hit them? Thank you. I suppose you could. It's never something I've attempted. We might have to head back up to the Pokemon Center already. Which, if we head back up to the Pokemon Center, we can drop off by barrel. Well, I don't know if I want to drop off by barrel. Since they, uh... They have both of our TMs. Or both of our HMs. Looks like Ronald lead. Or we'll just try and avoid some trainers. <laughs> some people compete over speed and some compete over technique. Which kind are you? Which kind am I? That's a very good question. Cyclist Rachel. Uh, with the Ponyta as I'm leading with a... Mm, probably not the best thing to lead with against a Ponyta. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Not the best. Not the best. See, this is why my Staravia has so much more experience and is a higher level than the rest of them. Because I would keep switching into them. Even though if Flame Wheel is going to hurt Staravia uh, to a degree, uh, it's not going to be nearly as bad. And also we have that uh, level advantage. Quick attack. Get rid of that pony tall. Grunnel up to level 23. Very nice. Uh, I'm gonna come in with a Sheiks. Yes, we will switch away from the bird to the grass. And we'll just bite our way through Sheiks. Yeah, because I believe Sheiks is also ready for an evolution rather soon. I can't. I cannot remember what level. Hit that bite. Shellos Evolution into Grass Drawn is at level 30. So they evolve. Shellos evolves at level 30. So we're decently close to that. Also, as far as Shinx goes, I can't remember if I have an extra in the PC or not. I don't think I do. So as soon as I catch it, it won't count as a new Pokemon because I don't have another Shinx in my uh, in my PC already. So Route 207. Is there anything on Route 207? Um, route 207. What you got? Krikatoon, Day or Night, Ponyta. Yeah, nothing. Nothing that we need. What's over this way? Trainer tips. Pokemon may become mobilized if they're asleep or paralyzed. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. That's some great info that I, I didn't have. I think if we take our bike, we can go down here. Wiz! K-Dog! How are you, buddy? Okay, this goes down into... Oh! Oh, sick! We, that's just right in Ouroboros City. Very nice. K-Dog! Thank you so much! Subscribing with your Twitch Prime? That is so kind of you. So kind of you. Doing good? I'm doing great! We had a fun Town of Salem stream this morning. Uh, and then we decided, uh, I was like, you know what? I was like, I want to play some more Platinum. Tuesday we streamed it, and I felt like... Expecto subscribo! Hey dog, why do you do this? You just, you come in and you say hello, and you just dropped five gifted subs. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for gifting one to Necronomicon, to It Kitty, to Unethical Bagel, to Chaos Knight, and to Running Kitten. That is way too kind of you. Way too kind of you. You're almost too... Uh, oh, was that just so you could slip past Indigo? 
It's okay if it was. I support you in that. Thank you so much. As we get uh, we get closer to our to our goal for the shiny living decks, as well as getting close to the max amount of uh, uh, subscribers we have ever had at one time. It's okay. I we just won't tell Indigo that you did it, and we'll see how long it takes for uh, uh, for them to notice that uh, you <laughs> you uh, shot past them. Uh, I don't even remember what I was, what I was saying. Oh shoot! I was saying it's. Uh, I just felt like we didn't get enough done on Tuesday when we played uh, Platinum. Also, did you hear Indigo has Phasmo now? I did. I did. I would be super down to do some Phasmo. I would be super down to do it again soon, because I have I have not played since Halloween. I have not played since then. I was actually looking at some clips from that earlier today. I was like just going through some of my clips that are on the channel and came across uh, the, uh, I guess the ghost doesn't like Frozen when we were in the high school and I was, I started singing Let It Go to it. Um, no, no, I didn't sing Let It Go. I was singing the, from, uh, from Frozen 2 um, and it like jumped in front of me. No, you don't tell me it got scarier. Don't tell me it got scarier. No, nah, I'm super down to play. We got to do it at some point. Bum, 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 bum. I've been playing some more... Um, oh. I felt that sneeze come. I've been playing some more uh, Dead by Deadlight. De Dead by Deadlight, that's it. Some more Dead by Daylight. Um, I want to get... I want to play some more of that, though, as well. I also, last night... Um, finally, uh, reinstall. I didn't reinstall, I just updated it. It was installed on my Xbox, but it had to update. Um, updated, uh, Apex Legends. And I, pl I played some Apex Legends last night. It was pretty great. Uh, I jumped into a, a match. Um, I didn't have my mic on. And I, I jumped into a match with these two dudes. And I, I was playing as, um, Lifeline. And, and the dude, I was just following them around. And the guys were like, man, man, this this lifeline's nice. This lifeline's nice. They're, they're honest, they're healing us. This 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 dude know this dude knows how to play lifeline. Meanwhile, I was just like, man, I don't know this map anymore. I'm just gonna stay on th these people because I I don't know the I don't know this map, so I'm just gonna follow them. I'm just gonna follow them. And we ended up winning. So I won my first match back. Uh, and then I went and played some duos. Um, immediately joined a game of duos and was by myself. The other person, I guess, got disconnected. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll just go. I'll just literally, like, try and get into firefights. And ended up killing, like, three teams on my own before finally getting murdered. Uh, I need to get back into Apex, but I've been addicted. I never got into Valorant. I never got into Valorant. I was hiding in a closet in the asylum right as the ghost started hunting. He opened the door to where I was hiding and he killed me. Wait, they can open doors now? What? Th that sounds terrifying. That sounds terrifying. I, s I think Reptar like streamed it for like 12 hours yesterday. Like he's trying to get all the ghosts in one go. And I'm like, I don't think I could. I don't think I could, could submit to playing that game for that long. I, I just don't think I could do it. Be yeah, I've I've been having I've been having some fun playing Apex. Oh, laughter brings good fortune. Um, um. Cause like it's it's I, I really enjoy the controls of Apex and I, I just wanna play I just wanna play Pathfinder. Pathfinder is my main and I just wanna jam out as Pathfinder and let make let, let everyone leave me alone. Don't choose Pathfinder so that way I can be Pathfinder. But it was a lot of fun. I also, I, I honestly, I don't think there's a legend that I hate playing as. I think all of the legends have their, uh, have their advantages. It's super effective. And now Apex has, like, uh, has crossplay. So you can play Apex. Like, the team, the game I was playing last night, uh, me and another dude were on Xbox, and the other person that we were playing with was on, uh, was on Steam. It was on Steam. 
And then I played the duos game I played with the dude was playing on uh, PlayStation. And I was like, that's so cool. I was like, this is the, this is the, the era of gaming I'm excited about when there's just cross-platform of every game and it, and it you don't have it there's not a console war it's just get whatever console you like and then you can just play games with everyone i've been a crypto main i've actually never played as crypto uh pathfinder was my go-to i i was wraith for a while um i like to bamboozle uh, although i am blanking on uh their name but the bamboozler <laughs> i don't know why i can't think of his name but he's a fun one, especially now that it's been updated and your uh, the ultimate ability copies everything that you do and like runs out in a circle. That that's a much better ultimate. Bum, 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 bum. It's super effective. Man, these are the type of fights I need. These are easy XP for my water types. What? Shinx is evolving. So this is not a new. Um, this is not a, not an increase in our living decks. Uh, like, this is not a new part of it. Instead, we no longer have a... Wherever you are. Instead, we no longer have a Shinx. We now have a Luxio. And we no longer have a Shinx. Because I did not have an additional Shinx in our PC. Because I, I didn't realize that... Um, until right before I started to stream. So we need to try and catch one today. We need to try and catch two today. And then I can grind one of them up to Luxio. Uh, and can, uh, go from there. Yeah, but I really do like le playing Lifeline as well. Because I like, I, 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 I dig being support. I dig being support. Bum, bum, bum. Mature. Yeah, I have watched some people play Valorant, and it looks fun. It's just, it's the same thing with Overwatch. Like I have, I have trouble, uh, and, it, and it happens with Apex, and I'll fall out of it again. Like I'm gonna really want to play it uh, for the next, uh, like maybe month or so, and then I'm gonna fall out of playing it and won't play it for like a few months, and then get back into it because what I always do. I, I just it I I'm bad at playing multiplayer games like that where there isn't a goal. If that makes any sense, like I just go, well, what's the point of playing this? I could be playing something else that has like a storyline that I need to get through. I could be like reading something. Um, so I just I I just lose interest very quickly in multiplayer games, and then I come back to them. It's, I, I've just, I've, I've yet to find a multiplayer game that I'm just like, I just want to play multiplayer over and over again. I think the last time I had that was like Halo 3 days. Where I was like, I'll just load up Halo 3 and, and, and get on, uh, get on Big Team Battle and just play that for like a couple hours. Whereas like now I'll play, I'll jump into a multiplayer game like, like Dead by Daylight or, uh, or even Apex, like to use it as an example, and I'll play like one game, and I'll go, okay, <laughs> I'm I'm good for the day. Um, Which is why I don't typically stream games like that because I don't think I would be able, I don't think it would be able to keep my interest long enough. Um, Hi, do you want to fight? I just got through Mount Cornet, but I've still got energy to burn. Um, Hiker Justin, he comes out with a Geodude. Geodude. Oh, K Dog, did you ever go? Uh, did you ever go uh, skim through the uh, the Fire Red Speed Run video? Did you ever get a chance to watch that? All right, knock out Geodude here. Honestly, this little area right here has been great for XP for Shellos because Shellos, I, I need to level thirty, and they'll get their evolution. Um, and we do have an extra bit in the PC, which will be nice just, to, uh, because we have two water types right now, which isn't great. I, I do need to get a fire type, and we could pick up that Ponyta that's back there, but honestly, I would just much rather, I would much rather pick up a Pokemon that we don't have yet, but I don't know which fire type. Uh, I don't know which fire type I'd want to grab from here. I mean, we don't need a fire type. It's just... 
I think we really only need it for that gem. Actually, I don't think there are any main fire types in, uh, in here. Bum, bum. All right, what you got right here? Found a super potion. Very nice. Thank you for your super potion. Ah, it's Lucas. Hope you don't want to fight me. Uh, hey, Wiz. How's your Pokedex coming along? Me? Well, I'm always doing great. <laughs> I wish, uh, but that's not important. Uh, lately, I've been experimenting with a couple of neat tools. Here, I'll share it with you. Choose a hand. Left. Oh, yeah, you want the Versus Seeker. Yep. Wiz, you know what's important. Don't I already have a Versus Seeker? <clears throat> I think I already do. What about a Pokétech? Do you have one? Yep, you do. You can have this too, then. You deserve it for all your effort, Wiz. Oh, so I got both things anyways. The Dowsing Machine. Um, locates unseeable items. The dowsing machine is, uh, just try and touch it. It'll alert you if there's an unseeable item on the ground. Try it out now. I think there's something here. Okay, keep working on your Pokedex. Professor Rowan is counting on us. Alright, let's flip to the, uh, to the new app. Oh, I think it's this one right here. Oh, there's something... Up here? Oh, we found a great ball! Aw, oh, that was a great waste of my time. That's what that was. And into Mount Cornet yet again. According to the theory, Mount Cornet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded. There should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife has spread. The world is being ruined by it. I find this state of affairs to be deplorable. I like that dude just, like, sees a child walking through a cave and decides to just, like, really throw a lot of big ideas at them. Like, what, uh, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Uh, bye, Bronzer. Bum, bum, bum. I like that we just keep cutting through different areas of Mount Cornet to move our way um, to the other side. Alright, was this route uh, 208? I thought it said. Oh, ah, I want I want it to be on. I want it to be on my normal page. Thank you. If I beat you, will you share some food with me? I think I'm going to share food with you. Um, Ralts, Rosala, Baidu, Fibarel, Badu. Okay, nothing we need on, uh, nothing we need on this route. Honestly, I think this is a much better way to, to do it, is to just keep this, um, keep a walkthrough pulled up, just so as we enter new routes, I can pull up the route information, see what Pokemon exist on it, um, and attempt to catch any that we need. I think this is gonna be a smarter way to make our way through the game, um, so that way at the end of it we have caught more Pokemon, um, and we don't have to go back searching for too many. We were starved for food, and now we'll we're starved for a win. I'm sorry you're starved for a win. Bum, 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 bum. This karate's man's going to pulverize you. Oh no, you're going to pulverize me? Anything but that. Anything but that. He's only got him a chop. So I feel like... I feel like you're not going to pulverize me that much. I also you chose to use the wrong move. So maybe you will pulverize me, because I decided to use Mud Slap instead of Water Pulse. So, actually, you probably will. Oh my gosh, I'm just pressing all the wrong keys. Seismic Toss! <clears throat> We're staying alive. Staying alive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We are staying alive. Can we just do one shot? Give me a one shot? Nah. See, if had we actually got our, our first head off right, we would have survived. Um, Super Potion up. Because we're about to move into a new city. We're about to go into another city where we should actually be able to buy um, some better items. So we'll Super Potion up. He goes for the revenge. But I didn't do anything to you last round. I just healed myself. Wait. There we go. Bum, bum, ba, da, da, da. And we've defeated Black Belt Kyle. Sorry, Kyle. 
And what do we got here? We got another great ball. Beautiful. Our second great ball that we have found. Alright. And are we done on this route? No, one more fight. Show this is up front. It's fine. Ah, you're just a little kid. How are you supposed to beat a big man like me? Well, when you speak like that, it shows me that you're overconfident. And you also have a nose pass, so... Really don't know who you're trying to impress here, buddy, with your nose pass. Speaking of nose pass, I still have not gotten a shiny nose pass in Pokemon Go. I am like, come on, where are you at? Where are you at, shiny nose pass? Katie! What the Expecto subscribe. Thank you so much for continuing your sub for five months. Heart you guys, heart you too. Thank you so much. Hope you all are doing well. And also, great news, Katie. I have been rehired. I have a job again. I start back at the end of the at the end of the month. Oh, do you want to have a battle? I was just meaning to enter a contest, but beating you won't take long. How dare you say beating me won't take long? I want you to at least take, you know, maybe four or five minutes put into effort trying to beat me before you just go, oh, it won't take too long to beat you. Should be pretty easy to, to destroy you. Bum, bum. We don't get poisoned off. Oh, we would have gotten poisoned there. Oof. That would have been bad. Let's go for hidden power. Almost all of my water pulses are just gone. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back at Disney. Uh, back with uh, back with what I was doing, which is very exciting. I don't know what uh, if I'll be back at the same location I was at yet or not. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's quite exciting. I, cause I have just been having just horrible luck. I mean, everyone really in, in this area has been having just horrible luck with attempting to find a job just because it's so oversaturated. Ooh, barely a critical hit. Um, and so, uh, my, I, I got, I got a call last week. And they were like, hey, do you want to, do you want to return? Do you want to come back and do your job? And I was like, yes. You said money and work? Yes. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you so much. It is very exciting. Oh, you have us beaten. Yeah, that's what happens. You say you're going to beat me and then I, cr I cry about it. I need to get, I need to get to Pokemon Center. Uh, you and I, uh, let us create a scene, a fantasy tableau of battle. Bum, bum. Uh, Artist William. Mime Jr. Uh, tell me he also has, uh, I don't know, what else would it make sense for him to have? I don't know. Can I outspeed Mime Jr.? No. But he's going to use Mimic, and since I outspeed, and since they outsped, they actually didn't get to Mimic anything. Go for the hidden power. Hope it one sh- Ah, uh, no, it does not. It does not do what we hoped. Goes for Encore. Okay, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll use <laughs> I'll use hidden power again. I, you really liked it the first time. Yeah, I guess I'll do it again. Do you think you can give me a third Encore? Do you want to bring me back for a third Encore? No. No, I was like, man, please only do two hits. Stop. No! Man, if we would have been left on 1 HP... Ah, uh, can you imagine being left on 1 HP and knocking them there? That would have been amazing. Uh, we'll go with them in Aqua Jet. Aqua Jet will hit first, and it'll take them out. And then it depends on what they're coming in with next. Honestly, another Mime Jr. I might stay. No, Bonsley. Actually, we'll keep battling, because Bonsley's a rock type. So Aqua Jet will actually do some decent damage to them. Should be super effective. Super effective. Eh, it'll be a three shot unless we, uh... Ah, oh, you learned Aqua Jet. Hey, there you go. Use Aqua Jet to your heart's content. Use Aqua Jet on me right now. Thank you. Because Aqua Jet is not going to hurt me. There we go. Bonsley down. We do need to catch a Bonsley at some point. Uh, we also need Mime Jr. as well. Those are two Pokemon that we do need uh, before we finish off this game. Magnificent! I am a glow with inspiration. I'm glad you're a glow with inspiration. So am I. My inspiration is glowing so much. If you say Heart Home City, I only say this. Pokemon contest. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. 
Oh, Hartholm City is a great place. Uh, every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. That's exciting. The most desirable place to live. Oh, Bonary. Oh, well, thank goodness you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Bonary would have could have run. Uh, baby Bonary, uh, back into the Pokeball you go. Hi, I I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Uh, be sure to drop by the contest hall. What if, what if I don't want to? Did we ever think about that? I don't know, I just don't have much of an interest in Pokemon contest, uh, especially when we're working on, we might have to though. It might force us to. I saw him standing in front of the gym, it might force us to do Pokemon contests, or at least learn about them. I think it's a really fun thing that they added to the game to give just something else going on. I just have no interest in it. Bum, 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 bum. All right, how is is this egg close to hatching so I can figure out what it is, see if we need it? Um, it will hatch soon. Okay, it tells me it'll hatch soon. Cool. It will hatch soon. Let's just get on the bike and, uh, and just do some laps, I guess. And we'll just do some laps around Heart Home City. And uh, hopefully we will get this thing hatching soon. I don't know what it could be. I don't think it's anything. I just don't know. The only Pokemon I know that's like, that they give you to hatch, at least in like Gen 2, they give us a Togepi. I don't know if they give us another Togepi, but otherwise, unless it's going to be like another baby Pokemon, I don't think we get a Ryolu like this. I actually don't know, remember how we get Ryolu in this game. Here, while, we'll go, while we're, we are going back and forth. Bum, bum. Let's go Pokemon... Platinum. Ryolu. Where do we get Ryolu at? Where do you get Ryolu and Platinum? Talk to your partner and then find a way down to another plat- Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, Conoglove City and cross the bridge. When you go up to the cave, find it stairs, enter. One stakes caves. Talk to your Pokemon. Oh, you do get an egg. So you get an egg from Riley. Um, and it hatches, it hatches a Rylu. Have no idea when, when this happens, though. I assume it probably happens near the end of the game. I can't imagine this is something you get early on. Um, how do I get a Rylu egg? Travel with Riley for a while and you should end up being in the Galactic Grunts at the end of the cave. Oh? All right, what's, what's going to hatch from here? Is it something we need, or is it trash? Oh, it's a Togepi. Okay, it is a Togepi. I don't think... I don't think we have any... need for you, Togepi? Because I'm fairly certain we... Yeah, we had Togepi and took a tick already, but I don't have a Toka Kiss. Okay, I don't have a token kiss, so I guess I guess I guess we do have a reason for you. What is token kiss? Um, how do you get there? A shiny stone, platinum, shiny stone. Because I know we already need one shiny stone for. Um, I know we already need a shiny stone for Rose Raid, so this will mean I'll need a second shiny stone. We're gonna find a shiny stone in platinum. Uh, you get one in Iron Island, Route 210, Route 228. Okay, so there are at least a couple places we can get one. Cool. So this will eventually become Toka Kiss. Um, I will work on in between streams at some point. Um, probably not for a while. I will work on evolving this thing because it's a friendship evolution. So it's just going to need to be, I do a lot of uh, battling with it until I can level up its friendship. Uh, and then we'll go from there. So Tokopi. Um, honestly, we'll put you in, well, I'll put, place you in box 18 to, so that way I know I need to evolve you. You need a shiny stone. Both of you need shiny stones. Um, you don't need to evolve. You don't need to evolve. I caught Bonary. I think we do need, uh... 
I caught Bunary, but we, we do have Bunary's evolution, right? Pretty sure Bunary's evolution was in this. Well, yeah, Low Bunny is in this game. I don't know why I only caught one. I need to catch a second one at some point so I can evolve them. Um, unless there's just a location Low Bunny spawns later. Low Bunny Platinum. But I don't remember looking that up. I think it was mainly I just put that in there because I already had a full team at the time. I can only assume that's why I did that. Um, platinum, Evolve Binary. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's evolution. Oh, it is also a happiness evolution. Yuck. Happiness evolutions are my least favorite. Mainly because they take so long. Alright, well, good to know. Um, I need to catch another one of you. The rest of you guys are done. Um, none of you evolved, so I will just grab my barrel back. Bum, bum, bum. Since my barrel uh, has both cut and uh, rock smash. In case I need it. You never know, in case we need it. Uh, actually, I think we already healed our Pokemon. So that was kind of redundant to do, but it's fine. It's fine. You can never be, you can never have your Pokemon too healed, right? Is that, is that how the saying goes? All right, we are in Heart Home City. Let's go talk to, let's go talk to dude and see why he's standing in front of the gym. Hey there, how's it going, trainer? You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. Your question why and the answer is, she's not here. Not to worry, though. We know she's at the contest hall. Come back another time, okay? I'll be waiting right here, yeah. So she's at the contest hall. Bum, bum. What is this? Uh, the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, man, I'm a fan of Pokemon. Hello, I'm with Jube Life TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Your Shellos is quite appealing, isn't it? <gasps> May I have your comment on Sheila on Shellos? Uh, yeah. Um, let's go with the lifestyle. Um, let's see. Let's see. How do we feel about them? We need a nice buzzword. We need a nice buzzword. Like, such as... Better... What's a better buzzword? None of those are good buzzwords. People. No. Feelings. A door. Perfect. We'll go with a door. Ah, thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how you look on TV. Oh, I'm sure I look great on TV. Hello, hello! Uh, how do I say do do? I am indeed the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman. Indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, I say do you do. If you must, if you may say so, and I will. I feed Poffins to my Pokemon, and why would I say that I do that? Because the grieving of Poffins is a great way to express your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffins, the Pokemon eating it would become more cute. For example, a spicy Poffin will add the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I would say that Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift for me to you. Um, do Poffins also increase happiness? Actually, don't know. I don't know if they increase happiness or not. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, your shell is quite friendly to you. It must be happy being with you. Okay, so she... So that that's someone we can go to to have uh, them check um, happiness level. So that's good to know. Pokemon Fan Club, uh, we can have our happiness level checked. Um, let's see. Do you sell Great Balls yet? Do you still don't sell Great Balls? That's kind of frustrating that they still don't sell Great Balls. Um, Antidote. Um, I have four. Oh my gosh. I keep pressing B. Paralyzed Hill, we have three. Awakening, we have four. Burn Heals. Ice Heals. Escape Ropes. Alright. Pretty nice. Uh, we'll just buy some Pokeballs. We have 14. We'll just buy six more. Really wish you guys would get some Great Balls in stock somewhere. I figured we'd, we'd have Great Balls by now. What do you sell? Mel? Oh, you have Nest Balls. Heal Balls and Net Balls. Hmm. Okay. Alright, then. We need to go to the contest hall. The Poffin sells delicious Poffins smiles for all. Can we just, can we buy Poffins? Is that how this works? Hi, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty Poffins. 
Oh, is this, uh, is this, uh, uh, a minigame cooking? Yeah, this looks like a minigame cooking. No thanks. Um, is this th this is surely isn't the contest hall, right? It's just a church. Mind and matter. It's no good for one to be stronger than the other. Balance is what's needed. That's the key. And there I do see my father, my son, my life. And there I do see nature, Pokemon, the world. The art of crafting things fatigues one's spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is a wondrous cycle. If the strong are able to do that, they limit the contributions of others. The strong must show restraint. That enables everyone to live together and shape responsibility. I don't know if there's anything uh, that I actually get in here. I'm looking for... Uh, we cannot read the minds of others, which causes those to feel others in doubt. But to control those aspects of the world of common sense is an impossibility. There's still words that not everyone can describe. Those words, love and joy. The people are lonely. It's only natural to give compassion for others. What makes them forward to a better tomorrow? But there's still moments of fondness for the past. Their time can heal some sadnesses. Alright, yep, just, uh, there's some people. Some people being people. <laughs> Let's go look for the contest hall. Up here? Oh, it's right up here. Oh no, this is. Is this the contest hall? My Pikachu seems to lie to be out. Oh no, this is the this is the walk area. This is the the park. And in, in, in Square, you can go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Yeah, this is where you go stroll with your Pokemon. But it has to be a cute Pokemon. You may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Okay, would you like to go with your Quaddle? Please do enjoy your time, just the two of you, okay? Uh, it's just the two of us going for a stroll. Uh, we got secret power. I don't know if there's anything actually in here. Um, in the northwest, uh, there's secret power. Um, your starter and any of it will work. Additionally, contains three teleports to work to different hunt. Um, a spooky plate, and there's just some items. All right, nothing. Nothing we really need. Yeah, nothing, nothing we really need. <clears throat> Alright. So I definitely don't need a tract. I was like, are there any Pokemon in here? No, no Pokemon in here? Okay, I'm gonna leave then. Bye. Alright, um, surely it's gotta be over on this. Oh, there it is. Yep. Don't know how I could miss that. Oh, oh, my hero! Oh, hi, Wiz. Oh, wait, no, really? Uh, Joanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Wiz about contest. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please take this accessory. We got the glitter powder. Yes. Put that away in the fashion case. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It'll lend a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I I'll see ya. I assume that's the gym leader on the right. Uh, were you surprised to see me, Wiz? I, I got bored, so I came out to Heart Home for a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Uh, not dressed that way. When your Pokemon is all dressed up, you can't be dressed your usual way. Uh, put this on for a little glamour. It's okay, I don't plan to do any. I'm sure it'll look good on you. After all, I chose it. Uh, go enjoy the contest, honey. Contest will give you a different look at many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Uh, bye now. Oh, yes, I beg your pardon. Oh, oh, we contests are here for them. I hope you very much enjoy them. Incidentally, Fatina, the gym leader of Heart Home, is also a contestant. She is, how do you say, uh, dress fantastic. Fantastic. Fantastic? Uh, Fatina, being myself, of course. Let me see. You also seem to be dressed strong. Uh, if it, so it shall be. I'll wait for you at my gym. Yeah, I was like, that looks like a gym leader. I don't remember many of the, uh, many Gen 4 Gen Leaders is my thing. Um, I have no idea what typing nor what level her Pokemon will be. So we're just gonna wing it and at least take on the trainers, um, right in the entrance of her gym. We'll see how it goes. Oh, hey there, how's it going, champ to be? This gym is some kind of wicked. Uh, wait, what's wicked about it? I'll tell you, first, it's pitch black. Oh, no worries, though, I have a flashlight right here for you. Also, there are usual gym trainers. They have flashlights, too. If you cast the light on one or they catch you in the light, the battle's on. 
Okay, now this is really important. It's all about the tiles on the floor. First, find the bl one blue tile in the room and memorize the mark on it. Next, head for the red door with the same mark on it. Advance through the correct red doors to reach the gym leader. If you choose a red, uh, a wrong red door, you get sent back here, though. That's how this place is. Go get them. All right, that's fun. I actually really like that idea. I like gyms that are different than most. Um. <clears throat> so, so we're going to the square red door. What did he say about stepping on the blue tile? I don't remember what he said about the blue tile. Oh, boo, did I scare you? This battle will. So this is a ghost type gym then? Last Molly Mischievous. Level 23. So gym leader will probably be 26, 27. Pain split. Uh, thanks for thanks for sharing your pain with me. I'm glad we could have this moment of uh, shared pain together. <clears throat> A critical hit. Oh, and I'm confused. Dang. Please don't hurt yourself. No. Oh, shoot. Wait. Ah, no. They have levitate. Goes to the side of the I, uh, you know, I don't see you making it through this fight. Especially if you hurt yourself right now. Yep. You are not making it through this fight. Um, hmm. Hmm. I don't think we really have... Uh, we, we just don't have a decent team that really is able to match many different typings of Pokemon. Um, and I don't know what uh, Mysterious is weak to. Well, that's not how I wanted to spell that. Weakness... Um, dark and ghost type moves. Uh, yeah, wait, we have people with bite. Growl has bite. That's something. We could just bite our way through the gym. Someone else has bite too. I can't remember who else has bite. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure someone else has bite. Hey, I don't want to share pain with you. I don't want to share my pain with you. I promise you I do not. There you go. Just take a bite out of life. Go for a side beam. Decent damage. Bye, Mischievous. Girl gets the next SP. Oh, whoopsie. That didn't end well. Sure didn't. Alright, but the square door is the door to move on. Oh, well, wait, was it not? Oh, no, it's the blue tiles. It's the blue tiles. The blue tile, not the tile of the floor. I was legitimately looking at the the tile. The, the floors were squares. That's what I was looking at. It is, it's whatever the blue tile is. That's what it is. Oh, well, we'll go ahead and come in here and heal up. That was just me, me, uh, doing backwards what I thought. I was like, oh, what, what's the blue tile mean? The blue tile means do that. All right. Also, I think we'll just lead with uh, with them so, since we can start with the dark move. Who else has bite? Does By Barrel have? No, By Barrel doesn't have bite. Surely it's not Luxio. Luxio does have bite. Okay, so so Luxio and and Rala, those are our two biters. Those are our two biters. Good to know. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, let's attempt this again in a less stupid way. So it's a square this time. There we go. Through the door. Through the door we go. All right, there's the tile up there. It is a sun. Not you. Oh, there's the sun. Mysterio, how are you doing, buddy? How was the uh, rest of your work day? Oh, wow. We only had to make it through twice? That's... Okay. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Finally, you have arrived. Since I came to this country, always I try to learn new things. They hold contests in this city. I say to myself, I, I will excel. Uh, this is why I dress this way. A siesta and performance. Also, I study Pokemon very much. I have uh, come to be a gym leader. 
and uh, it shall be for me to you to challenge me. Uh, but I shall win. That is what a gym leader does, not? It was slow, only two players in the pit total. Oh, wow. Slow day. Hey, but slow days are nice. Bum, bum, bum. I assume you still get paid the same for a slow day, and then you don't have to do as much. Bum, bum. Go for the bite. Honestly, we should just be able to bite our way through this gym pretty easily. As long as we just don't... Oh, yes, and the flinch, too. And then we have uh, Luxio, who also has Bite, who is fast and should be able to outspeed whoever her ace is. Luxio is only level 22, though, so we do have to keep that in mind. Come in with Miss Magnus. We will keep on battling. We will let, um, let them get some XP. We also still have... Uh, uh, I don't want to run. It's okay. I didn't want to run. It's okay. I didn't want to run. I wanted to go to Pokemon. Staravia. Um, who is level 29. I couldn't remember what level they were. Hey, Rokin, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome on in. Hope you're having a great day. Oof, that was a lot of damage. And we do not outspeed Miss Magnus. We damage them pretty well, though. We damage them pretty well, though. Yeah, this Mag Miss Magnus, I am not excited to deal with. I'm currently deciding. I could switch into another Pokemon and let them die. And then come back with Luxray and try to outspeed and then try and heal someone else. That's the potential play we could do because I think their next shot, no matter what's going to heal us. Because we will not outspeed. We will not outspeed. And we do not hold on. This is not a Nuzlocke. No, this is our Living Dex playthrough. This is uh, just where we're catching every Pokemon. Bum, bum. No, the Nuzlocke will be continuing next week. I go for Shadow Ball. Ah, oh, Miss Magnus outspeeds. Then uh, expo it outspeeds Luxio as well. And one shot. Is that? Tell me that was at least a crit. That was not a crit. That was not a crit. Lovely. That just means they're screwed. I had to train very hard before I tried this. Yeah, honestly. Um. Honestly, we might have to do a little bit of grind for the two of them. Uh, no, I do want to check moves. Um, Aerial Ace, use your uh, then flash, then tax lands without fail. 60 damage, physical 6010, or 6100. Um, hmm. Drave is immune to Shadow Ball and resist Magic Leaf, which is really exciting. So we should hopefully have uh, a little bit of help here. They go for the Psy Beam. But Psybeam still does a ton of damage. Psybeam still does a ton of damage. If we outsped... If only we outsped, man. If only we outsped. Should go for the Super Potion here. Um, because I'm not I, I'm not sure if she's gonna Super Potion. She does not. She goes for another Psybeam. And if this crits. Have I caught Rotom? No, I tried to go back to get Rotom, and then the game was like, no, you have to go down the cycling road. And I was like, I don't, I want to go catch Rotom. I don't want to go down the cycling road. Uh, so I think I'll be able to spin back around to them soon and, uh, and grab them that way. I'm going to switch out since they're confused. I don't even want to attempt that with confusion. Because um, one hit, and I can win. If you can hold... Oh, beautiful. You actually held that really well, by Barrel. Thank you, by Barrel, for holding that so well. Because we can use this Heal Staravia. Staravia can then come back in and hit and should be fine. Magical Leaf. Can you hold against Magical Leaf? Yeah, I think I can go back now. I think after I, after I have passed through Cycling Road, I think they'll allow me to go back now. But like, they're like, go to Cycling Road. And I was like, fine, I'll, 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 I'll go do the Cycling Road. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I didn't do the Cycling Road. Go ahead and cut the attack. No! Goes for the Confuse Ray. Shoot. Please fight through the confusion. Do not hurt yourself, please. Ah, you hate to see it. You hate to see it. Please don't hurt yourself. Yo! Snapped out of the confusion! Heck yes, Staravia! Ah! Oh. Beautiful! Beautiful! Snapped out of it and said no. Coming in with Haunter. 
coming in with Haunter. Um, honestly, these two, these two are not going to do well against this. I think my play here is to switch out and heal. I think my play is to switch to someone, heal Star Ravia, um, and go back with it. I think this is uh, the the smartest slash only thing I can really do here. Bum, bum. So that way I don't use up a ton of trying to stay in attack. Um, Staravia is not confused anymore. Obviously, they snapped out of it anyways. They go for the Confuser right here, which is great. Um, that's great. I was going to train my Rotom to level 29 in order to get Omnis win. Honestly, smart. Smart play to do. Uh, Swift and Quick Attack won't do anything. We'll go for Aqua Jet just to at least do some damage. Just to at least get some damage onto them. It won't be a lot. Uh, but it'll at least be a... Uh, it'll be something. It'll be something, because there's no reason for me to try to switch and take damage uh, when I can just stay here and at least do that. Hypnosis. Oh, my gosh. Why are you trying to put me... You try to confuse me and then try to put me to sleep. Are you sure you aren't the confused one? Oh, wow. Hurt ourselves twice in a row. Man. But it died because I was locked in with Upward. No. Oh, that's, that's the worst. All right, Staravia. Make me proud, Staravia. Make me proud, Staravia. You outspeed, which is beautiful. You've cut attack, which is beautiful. Uh, just don't... Oh, a crit! Yes! Yes! First try. It died... Oh, when try... That's... When it dies in training, is even worse. You don't even, like... You're not even, like... It doesn't even die in, like, a, an important battle that allowed you to win. It's just like, well... You're dead for nothing. I am dumbfounded. So very, very strong. You, your Pokemon, so strong. Your power is admirable. I shall honor it with this gym badge. We got the Relic Badge, Fatima. Thank you so much for the Relic Badge. That badge will let you use the hidden move Defog outside of battle. Also, you can make use of this technical machine. And that is what I think. Tain TM65. That TM contains Shadow Claw, a very startling move. It hits, uh, move it is. It hits, its hits turn critical often. Man, I tripped over all my words there. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, there we go. That is our third gym badge, though. I am very proud of us. Honestly, I I was so afraid when I saw the level of Miss Magnus and Miss Magnus like crush through us. I was like, ah. We're going to be stuck here for a while. And I was like, that's that's not what I want. Bum, 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 bum. Rotom can also... Ah, uh, I think so. I think so. I need to catch Rotom either way because I just need them for... Uh, I need their form in general um, for for the decks. I, I, really, any form there. So I, I, I do need to catch one either way. Um, is it... Oh, this is just another entrance to the... Uh, to the square. Bum, 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 bum. Make it flying and use it on the next gym. That'd be smart to do. I have a professor friend, and this is what he told me. If you leave a pair of Pokemon with a daycare, sometimes eggs are found. Or things that are like eggs, anyways. I wonder how many how my pal Professor Elm was doing these days. He was always the quiet sort and didn't really stand out. Are we about to be at the, uh, is the daycare through here? Oh, it's Barry, or rather, Indigo. Uh, Ta-da! Kept me waiting again, Wiz. Uh, let's see how much tougher you are. Uh, t tougher you and I have gotten right here and now. You're a trainer now. You're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get this show started. All right, Indigo. Let's see what you got. You're coming out leading with a Staravia, level 25. Leading with a level 25 Staravia. You named him Indigo? Yeah, we voted on it at the beginning. Was he going to be named after uh, one of the mods? Um, or named after... After name them Chat? Or just let them be named Indigo? Uh, or just let them be named Barry? Um, and uh, Chat voted to let to name him after... Uh, name him after the mod. Oh, yeah, I'll show you something wicked, too. Um, I'd rather just switch out to Luxro. 
honestly probably be smarter to. Would have been smarter to earlier while they're setting up like their double team and all that. A critical hit. Yeah. First time I played Pearl, I was second in Journey of City because I was stupid and a kid and ended up training Royal Tilt Evolve. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, they also went for the Switch. Wow, okay. I was stuck in Attorney of City for a while uh, just doing this because I was stuck in, on stupid the, uh, the fight with Jupiter. I was stuck for too long fighting Jupiter. That's how last stream ended, and then I was like, I'm just going to go grind. And that's why Staravia is such a high level because I just went and grinded up my Pokemon. Because I was like, I'm, I'm, tired of be I'm tired of being in Attorney of City. I want to leave now. You had no deaths fight. That's impressive. Which, yeah, if I was doing a Nuzlocke, I would absolutely overlevel. I, f I feel like we will eventually at some point Nuzlocke Gen 4. Right now, we're, our Nuzlocke is in Generation 2. We're Nuzlocking um, Heart Gold. I feel like we'll eventually do a, a Gen 4 Nuzlocke, and I am terrified for it. I'm terrified for it. Go for the bite. Oh my gosh, and then you kill me. Because I have, like, no health left. They set up so... Uh, those leech seeds and the mega drains. There's nothing I can do there. I had one against the scientist because my Zubat got crit by a plus one confusion. Oh, that's the worst. The galactic scientist. Um... Bye, Barrel. Just get, get some XP for me, buddy. Get some XP for me. Right now, where I'm at is I just I need Pokemon Monferno. Um, let's go to let's go to Shoyos. Right now, I'm just at the point where I'm like I need to, I need to grind Pokemon. I'll probably end up after this stream before we stream this next. I'll probably uh, grind up my Pokemon to a to a like a, a straight across level, just so that way I don't have to like do too much grinding more playing this. I'm getting Gibble later because I had no Geodude or Onix, which means it's not guaranteed. Oh, true, true, true. True, yeah. Bye, Monferno. You're dead. Sorry about it. Star Radia nights. Like Star Radia days. More often than not, I hyperfang you in a very rude way. Bum bum. Go for the hyperfang. Go for the- oh, shoot, they hit Endeavor. Yeah. Alright, then. So you have 23 HP. I know you have a 23 HP, then, so that's nice. <clears throat> I know how much health you're sitting at. Go for another Endeavor on me. Put me to your health. Have you taught Return to someone? I have not. I have not. I don't believe I have. Uh, we'll go in here and go for the Aqua Jet. They may still outspeed me, though. No. Like, if they go for Quick Attack, I know Aqua Jet's priority. But depending on their speed, I think you can still outspeed... Can you outspeed priority? I don't know. Now that I say that... Now that I say that, that might not be the case. Um... Man, I wish Luxio was still alive. Um... Actually, yeah, this would be the smartest choice, right? Yeah. Give it to Staravia, in my opinion. Okay. Next, Staravia right now, I think Staravia just says Aerial Ace, Wing Attack, Quick Attack, and Tackle, which I don't need Tackle. I'm pretty sure they have Tackle. I don't remember what their fourth move was. Return has a, uh, a max of 102 base power, yeah. And Staravia is going to be on our team for this entire run because you always sit, at least for me, at least my... The, the way I typically play, play Pokemon is I always at least have a flying type on me that I can teach fly to. So that way I'm always able to fly around. I feel like that's at least how my teams are typically made up of. Oh, what just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, Indigo, you lost. Oh, it goes to show my surefire winning strategy doesn't work. Uh, say, hey, uh, Wiz, uh, remember what I told you before? Make sure all your attacks hit. Avoid every enemy attack. I thought that was a wicked strategy, but it doesn't work worth beans. I guess I have to grind it out and toughen up the team a bit of a time. Anyway, I I'm off to Soli's, uh, to, to Sol? 
to Solacion? Solacion Town? Uh, see you, Wiz. You'll be shocked by my growth the next time we meet. I'm sure. I'm sure I'll be shocked. I'll be shocked like those people in the in the magazines, like shocked after seeing Indigo's newest power level. A star after with close combat return aerial ace and fly is a good star. Yeah. Let me actually, uh, let me actually see. I think I do still have return. I don't think I've done anything with it. If I did, I have completely forgotten that I did. Bum, 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 bum. We hope to see you again. Have I just not picked up return yet? I don't, I don't remember teaching it to anyone. I don't remember teaching it to anyone. Pokemon Platinum. Return. Oh shoot, did I sell Return? Did I sell it? Surely I didn't sell it. Why would I sell it? Why would I sell it? There's no way that I sold it, right? No. No, I haven't come across it yet. I haven't come across it yet. That's what it is. I haven't come across it yet. Um. I can purchase it though in Sandra Town. I haven't, I haven't gotten it yet. Yeah, I haven't gotten it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. That's what it is. Bum, 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 bum. This uh, this one's Birch. Gen 4 is Birch. I haven't gotten it yet. That's what it is. Bum, 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 bum. Did I? 100%? Then I must have sold it like... I must have sold it without realizing it. Um, so I could go south here. South here takes us to Pastoria City, which is not where we're going yet. This is where the next city we're going to. Um, and then eventually when we loop back around here. Or we head back to Attorney Asaurus and get Rotom now. You get it when you leave his lab for the first time. No, wait, this isn't Birch. Birch is Gen 3. This is the old dude. This is the old dude. Birch is Gen 3, Elm's Gen 2. Um, this is Professor... Which professor is this? This is Professor Rowan. This is Rowan. I, I'm so I, I have it all mixed up in my in my head because I, I I'm playing so many different Pokemon games right now. I don't know if he gives you. Um, when he's first visited San Jin Town for the first time, he hands out Team Twenty Seven Return as well as the Pokédex. I had to have sold it then. I had to have sold it then like an idiot, because I just did look it up. He, he does give it to us. I don't know why I would have sold it then. Because I normally don't sell t uh, TMs or anything like that. But I don't know if I'm thinking of... Because I know I sold one in our Gen 2 Nuzlocke. Because I needed to, because I needed to buy healing items. And I didn't need the... I don't remember doing that. Did I give it to someone? No, no one has it. No one knows the move. Oh uh, shoot, is it smarter to go back uh, and get Rotom now? It might be smarter to go back and get Rotom now. Uh, I don't need to get more. Uh, Route 109. I want to look at the available Pokemon on Route 109. Is there anything we need on Route 109? Uh, no. We have caught all of these. Rotom, Luxo, yeah. It is. I mean, it is. Rotom is better. Honestly, I think it might be smart to backtrack, pick up Rotom, just so I have it. Just so I have it. Especially because in the... Yes, this is where the daycare is. I was like, I'm pretty sure this is the way the day cures, but I couldn't remember. Um, Lost Tower. So uh, I think return. I think it did say we can find return in the Dark Tower, though. In the Lost Tower, though. Yeah. Okay. So we we can find return in Lost Tower. 
so we can pick up another another one of it. So it's we're not we're not totally uh, totally screwed. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's let's backtrack and get Rotom. It'll be another entry to our decks because we haven't done a lot, and as well as try as catch another um, catch another Luxray. Um, since our one evolved and we need another placeholder, we might as well catch ourselves. Uh, no, not another Luxray, another Shinx. Yeah, let's go catch a Luxray. That's what we're gonna do. Bum, bum, bum. Change form stats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's much better. I'll just have to look up where we can, um, where we can change its form. Bum, bum. Yeah, hi there. I don't want to fight any of you guys. I'm just I'm just passing through. Just passing through on the way back up to Attorney of Force. Don't mind. Oh, you can't escape. Oh, you're kidding me. You can't. Okay, water water the grass on my back. Water the grass on my back. Oh, I still can't escape? Okay. Um, I didn't even mean to uh, run that time. I was actually going to fight them that time. We weren't able to rock smash this last time because we did not have my barrel with us. Now we do. Found an ether. Thank you so much for the ether. I wonder if when in speed running platinum, if that's one of the places they stop to get um to get an item. To get that ether. I wonder if that's part of your speed run strats is to get that ether. I actually don't know if there's... I'm assuming there's an item this way. That's why I'm going this way, but this might be... Oh, no. This is just another way I could go. It would have been faster for me to just go around because I wouldn't have to go through this animation four times. <laughs> All right. Bye. I'm a chump. Bum, bum. Hi, I'm a chump. Buy him a chop. Alright, out we go. Round 207. Oh, you know what? I didn't fight these two dudes earlier. I'm gonna. Is this a double battle? It might be. Go for it. My Pokemon, I'll do my best too. Yeah, because I went around the other way last time. Oh well. E free XP. They're just giving it away out here. They're just giving away XP. With a Chimchar and a Parachute. Yo, can I have your Chimchar? You think I can have your Chimchar? Um, Razor Leaf for fun. Aqua Jet Chimchar, which might just... Might just one-shot Chimchar, honestly. No. Gets him close, though. <laughs> Chimchar uses Emberon. Of course they do. Super effective. My Razor Leaf might kill Chimchar. I doubt it, though. I doubt it, though, because it's not going to be effective. It's not going to be super effective. Oh, and we do get the kill, though. Even when they're not very effective, it's to be still get the kill. Um, go for the bite. Uh, go for the swift. Oh, we should have just went for swift. Oh, well. Um, you might be down. Yeah. Bye, buddy. Sorry you couldn't get, gain some free XP. Sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry. Bum, 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 bum. Bite. Um, bite. We'll just go for the double bite here. Go for the quick attack. We bite once. We bite twice. We bite by. Bite by. Oh, what? We lost! Oh, we lost. Yeah, you guys lost. Now give me your money as I ride away on my bicycle. Alright. Upcycling road we go. Pretty sure we already fought everyone on cycling road, so I don't think there's anyone there to stop us. We'll stop by and we will heal our, heal our Pokemon. And then we'll head into Internia City. Have you not caught a Gibble either? I have not caught a Gibble yet either. Uh, I don't think I've come across Gibble yet, have I? 
I don't think I've had the uh, ability, because if I did, they would absolutely... I don't think I've, I've had the opportunity to catch them yet. I could be wrong. <clears throat> um, Boogiemon Platinum in the Wayward Cave. Oh, the way is the Wayward Cave under Cycling Road? Is it? See, it's been so it's been so many years since I've played through the Sinnoh region that I don't remember any of the Sinnoh region. Um. The hidden one. Wait, there's a hidden... Oh, the hidden area? Gibble at a 20% chance. Yo, at a 20% chance? Wild! Um, as long as you avoid the interest mirror, service your partner for whatever double matters you guys pro. Okay, yeah, we'll have to go... We'll have to go... We'll do that on our way back, then. We'll get Rotom, and then on the way back... Okay, you can leave me to it. Sweet. After I grab Rotom, on the way back, we'll go grab... It, we'll catch a Gibble... Um, and then I'll also, I'll, uh, cause I, I want to catch multiple of them. Uh, so that way, since I need it for the full decks. All right, into Eternia Forest. Bum, bum, bum. I think Rotom's just right up here, right? I think this is where the chateau is. Yeah. Bum, bum. Oh, uh, Wurmple? Oh no, I'm so afraid! Whatever shall we do? You know what? I, I'm actually gonna... I wanted to bite it, but I guess Grass Knot's okay too. I wanted to bite it. I was like, we're so close to getting level 25. What if we just got level 25? Rotom only appears at night? Does it? Are we not technically at night? No, night time doesn't start until 5 o'clock. Yeah, 8 p.m. Oh, we can just uh, switch the system time. That's all we have to do. Easy. Easy. We'll just cheat. Bum, 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 bum. All right. Because it, it, 9 doesn't start till 8 p.m. I think in, like, uh, Gen 2, it started at, like, 7 or even then we went, I, I think five. All right, um, finish saving. Hacker mode, activate real fast as I start to hack this. All right, that's saved. Bum, 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 bum. Time to change what time it is. Shall we change the time? We're time traveling. Oh wow, it's already 9:38 p.m. Oh man, it's it's so much later than I thought it would be. Oh man, why is it so late? Bum bum. This is so much later than I thought it would be. Well, didn't want to go to town of Salem. We aren't playing Town of Salem right now. Bum. Ba -da -dum -bum. All right, it's now 9.39 p.m. Um, old Chateau. Did you show up at the end? Uh, no, no, we're like, uh, we're not at the, at the end. We're not at the beginning either, though. Let's do the time warp again. We were, we were time traveling. So that way we could get a Rotom. Honestly, we might leave it at nighttime too. Um, is this it? Is this the TV? Did I do it first try? I did it first try. I didn't even mean to. I didn't even know where we were going. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears as if it will come out and want to thump the TV. Yes, Wiz thump the TV set. You know when you see something spooky in an old TV set, obviously you should just hit it. All right, it's level twenty. Go! Rottle! Rottle, rottle. Um, now how do we catch it without killing it? That's, that's where the real question comes in. 
we just one shot it and we're like, okay, bye. No, then we just reload the save. Ah, perfect. Change the Internia City. Use one of our great balls that we have. Oh, wait, I need to turn my hat around backwards for this, so that way we can catch it. Ah, uh, see, that's why I didn't catch it. I didn't have the hat on backwards. Now that it's on backwards, uh, we can properly catch the Pokemon. Uh, if we go by Ash Ketchum Logic. Their evasiveness has risen. You know what? The Premier Ball. The Premier Ball will catch them first try. The Premier Ball. This actually looks terrible backwards. First try with the Premier Ball. No, I lied to you all. I'm sorry for lying to you. I'm sorry for lying to you. I need to do like a tiny bit more damage. I need to just do a sliver of damage. Uh, no, I do not need the different forms for the decks. Uh, Rotom, no matter their different form, they always take the same spot in the decks. Um, same for, uh, I don't have any Dust Balls, no. Uh, although if we don't, if we don't have any luck catching it, we can always just reload our save, because I saved right before we came inside, and I can just run over and, uh, grab it. I feel like Aqua Jet's gonna do almost nothing. Mainly because we're gonna miss. Mainly because we're gonna miss. And then get one shot. And then get one shot. And then get one shot. Alright, let me use let me use my let me use an electric move on you. How do you feel about being sparked? Sparked. Uh their their evasiveness has risen so high. Rotom is just Oh, suit so should we actually hit it? This shouldn't hurt it too bad, especially since we're only level 22. Oh uh, yeah, that's perfect. Because I don't have any, um, I don't have any, like, s go to sleep moves or anything like that. Or paralyzation moves. I have nothing to do to give it a status effect. Wow, Rotom, okay. We might, we'll probably just reload our save and, uh, grab, go buy some Dust Balls. Because I know they sell some in a, uh, in, if they don't, I, I, I know they sell them in the next city we were in, if they don't sell them in Eternia. Spark always hits, I believe. Um, I believe Spark has a high... I don't know if it always hits. Yo, did we get it on a Pokeball? Wow. We get it in a Pokeball. Both of our Great Balls, a Premier Ball, which as everyone knows is the best Pokeball ever invented. Uh, we then catch it in a Pokeball. Rotom, 366th Pokemon into our living decks. Um, we will scroll down here. Um, ba -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum. Rotom. Thanks, Rotom. Give a nickname. Nope. So we heat. That is very exciting. I don't know if there's anything else in the chateau we need. Found the dread plate. It's like the dread pirate, uh, but it's the dread plate. Uh, and then we'll go catch, uh, attempt to catch a Gibble. Before we go attempt to catch a Gibble, though, uh, we'll stop by, uh, because Dust Balls are just helpful at nighttime. So we'll see if we can catch any in there. What, wait, what spawns in here? I think it's, I, I mean, obviously it's ghost types. Uh, is there anything else that we need? Oh, just Ghastly. Ghastly is the only thing that spawns in here. Uh, there is a rare candy in the house. There's also Substitute, a Big Pearl. Nah, I really don't care, honestly. I at least got to see one of my favorite locations from Gen 4. The Old Chateau. The Old Chateau is pretty cool. A pretty cool little location. If we... If in Pokemon D&D they ever travel to the Sinnoh region... Ah, oh man. I'm going to do something really cool with the Old Chateau. Honestly, I'm just really excited for where they are right now in Pokemon D&D. I am having an absolute blast with where they currently are. So I am very excited to see uh, where it's going to go. Uh, I am going to backtrack a little bit more. Actually, this I might be able to do it on this route. I might be able to do it on this route. Cricket Dot! I was like, actually, I think he spawns on this route later at night. Um, although, level... Let's go for Absorb. Absorb shouldn't do too much damage.
Uh, it's no strange house from Gen 5. I honestly know even less about Generation 5. Generation 5 is honestly, when we play through Pokemon uh, Black and White, it is very much going to be me learning the game very differently. I mean, in Platinum, there are still bits and pieces where I don't remember a lot of stuff that happens, but for the most part, I still remember, I still remember a lot of Generation 4. Um, but Gen 5, I know almost nothing of after, like, the first two gyms. Gen 5 is the latest game you play. Gen 5, I... Gen 5, I have... Po I got Pokemon uh, White, and then I just fell... I fell out of love, I guess, with Pokemon is how you could call it. I just had no interest in it. So I have never beaten Pokemon White. There we go. 367. Krikatot. Krikatot has been Krikakot. <laughs> Added to the decks. And Krikatoon, I believe, just spawns, um, spawns out and about. Uh, let me go back one more page. In here. Bum, bum. Yeah, back to part four. It's a very dark, uh, in that game, Strange House is the home to a family of ghosts who is very hinted that they were murdered in their sleep by dark. Right? Yikes! You hate to, you hate to see it. Uh, this one will look up. Yeah, Krikatot is a 10% spawn rate. I believe Krikatoon spawns as well. Although, on this place that I'm currently at, um, I need a Shink spawn. Just because I need to, I need to catch another Shinx. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm looking at, so that way you guys just don't see me staring up blankly at, at another screen. This one, Route 204 is what I was wanting to look at. Um, Shink spawns there at a 15% chance. Honestly, I, I well, not, it's because I need to catch it during a stream. Um, I need to catch it during during stream time. I can go here and get Shinx 20%. Eh, it's not a big deal. It's not a super big deal that I catch it, that I catch another Shinx right now. All right, so now we're gonna go look for Gibble, and you're gonna walk me there. Badoo! We have both Badoos in our PC. One Badoo that'll stay as Badoo, and the other Badoo when we eventually get a shiny stone that we'll use to evolve this one with. So we got that that going for us. I felt the sneeze coming and I did not hit the mute button and I was like, no, I haven't muted the I haven't muted the mic. And that's why Darkrai is my third favorite mythical kind, Victini and Arceus. Dr uh, Dratini is really cool. It took me forever to get one in Pokemon Go. It took me t longer than it should have uh, to get one in Pokemon Go as many times as they offered out um, Dratini. All right, do you sell Dusk Balls here? Also, was if you're still here when they come out, will you hop over the Living Decks of the Sinnoh Remix? No. Uh, when the Sinnoh Remix come out, we will just be playing the Sinnoh Remix. I won't be doing a Living Dex on them. Uh, no, we don't have... We have Net Balls. Net Ball... Net, Nest, and Heal. They don't sell... Uh, they don't sell Dusk Balls yet. No, we'll just be playing through the Sinnoh remakes when they come out. Uh, the we should we should hopefully be done with platinum by that point. Um, no, just auto put me on the bike. Just auto put me on the bike. Just auto put me on the bicycle. All right, so I know I at least have to get to the other side so that way I can backtrack. And then I'm looking for the hidden cave entrance. Have I ever fought this guy? Gibble time. Um, Dratini, Victini, Mark. Dratini. Dratini. Oh, did I say Dratini instead of Darkrai? I may have said Dratini instead of Darkrai. It's late. Gibble time. Gibble time. Tell me where to go. I assume I get to the bottom of the path and I go up. I may have said Dratini instead of Darkrai. Um, I meant to say it took me forever to get Darkrai in uh, Pokemon Go. Longer than it should have. Cut the tree. Bum, bum. Bum, 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think I ever did this in my uh, when I played Diamond back in the day. Like, I don't think I knew about this area. Gligar! Bum, bum, bum. Can't escape. Oh my gosh. Can't escape and it's just gonna use Harden on me? Fine, I'll bite you. If I bite you once, will you let me leave? There you go. Alright, can I leave now? There we go. Just give him one bite to show him I'm serious about it. Like, I'm serious about leaving. Found a burn heal. Very nice. Always useful. Oh, you're gonna want to fight me, aren't you? Oh no, I, I literally went at the, the exact moment you looked away. I'm gonna shop, I don't need you. Being in a Dynamax adventure with Mark is stressful, and yes, I just gave him a free shout. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is, so it's means nothing to me if it's a shout out. Bum, bum. Ponyta! Honestly, I've been considering it might be useful picking it up just so we have a fire type should we need it. But honestly, I feel like we just won't need it. I feel like we won't need it. Can you let me leave now? You burned me, now let me leave. Found a super repel, nice. Thank you for the super repel. I'm sure I'll need it. I'm sure I'll need it. I miss doing Dynamax adventures. I want to do some more and do some more shiny hunting, but honestly, my my big thing is we don't really we never really have enough people to do a full um to do a full shiny hunt, to do a full Dynamax adventure. Um and so I don't want to get stuck with AIs. I don't want to get stuck with AIs. So I think honestly um Next time I do them, I'll just do it with... I'll just go into it and just and just join up with randoms. Go left. Oh, wait, down there? I don't need to go in here? Because this is, this is the main one, right? Yeah, that's the main Wayward Cave. So we need to go back and go left. Go left. Is there, like, an entrance in here? No, <laughs> no there's no entrance in there. Oh, wait, is there actually an entrance in there? Is there actually an entrance in there? Did I did I guess it? There is. Ooh, yeah, I would have never figured that out as a kid. I would have never figured that out as a kid. All right, let's start here. Oh, wait. Oh, I did it. I did it. And then Gibble just spawns in here. Oh, wait, I didn't want to go down. Did I want to go down? Maybe I wanted to go down. Um, let me pull up Wayward Cave here and just look at the spawn rates. I think it's 20% spawn rate. <clears throat> Hidden area. Gibble is at a 20% spawn rate. That's honestly pretty decent. I don't need any of the other Pokemon that spawn in here. Item-wise, there's a Dusk Stone. Uh, Earthquake is in here. Oh, dope. And this is where Gibble spawns at a 20% chance. Give me Gibble first, first thing I encounter be too easy if they gave me gibble first off so i'll catch one here on stream with you guys and then i will come back uh i'll come back uh at some point and i will catch um wait let me shift up i'll wait let me shift up i'll come back and i'll catch another one um another two i guess because i i imagine i imagine we probably don't get many other gibble spawns i'm actually going to switch from uh Garlic front i want to switch to my water type so that way if we encounter geodudes and onyxes that spawn here i can at least get some xp off of them uh, let's get some xp for you so because as soon as you get level 26 i don't need you anymore and i can switch you out goodbye can be caught on victory road only in platinum Ooh, okay that's good to know i have to hit that a lot faster I have to hit that a lot faster. I have to I have to not let off. I just have to keep going. Um Okay. So maybe maybe it's only worth catching Maybe it's only worth catching one here. No, it's worth catching two here. It's worth catching two here. So we catch one that we keep with us that we train all the way up to um all the way up to uh Garchomp. 
we keep one that just stays on our PC that's just a gibble forever. Um, and then when we get to Victory Road, uh, we get a, uh, we catch a, a goodbye that just stays goodbye. That's what we do. So you can catch two here. Um, 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 this puzzle's a bit difficult. Yeah, I think it's just, I just need to rev up the whole way. First Pokemon. My first Pokemon game was Emerald. My second Pokemon game was Fire Red. Uh, and then my third Pokemon game was Pokemon Diamond. I still have it. I still have it over here on the side. I don't have the box. Man, I wish I knew where the box was. I wish I knew where the box was. Like, uh, Tyler, Tyler, my brother, he's kept track of all of his... Actually, I might have... I say that, and then I'm like, is the box actually over here? No, those are all 3DS titles. I don't know where any of my DS titles are. I don't know where any of my DS titles are. Um, any of the boxes. They might be in storage. They might be in storage somewhere, but, like, Tyler's kept track of all of his Pokemon games. Not that I'd ever want to, like, resell it or anything, but just to have. And especially, I, I, I doubt I'd be able to get too much for it, considering it is open and used. Look at that I got. Look at, look at nice little Pokemon. Pokemon Diamond. Also Soul Silver. Also a great Pokemon game. Soul Silver is probably tied up there for my favorite Pokemon game. Got me right as I was shifting. Got me right when I was shifting. Bronzer's at a 30%. My first main Pokemon game was X, though the earliest game I ever played uh, was Explorers of Darkness. Interesting. All right, let's go for it. Boom, 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 boom. We did it. We got to the item. Hello, Onyx. Yeah, honestly, if we can get if we can get this dude to level 26 and evolve by the time we get done with this, we might just switch into Gibble for their spot. Because right now we have we have another water type that does the same thing. At least Brilliant Diamond kept a really nice logo for Diamond. Yeah, they're, the, the logos look great for it. I'm really excited to get Brilliant Diamond. I have Heart Gold, but Di Diamond Pearl Platinum just have a special place in my heart. I feel that. Um. Oh, uh, we have to let off on the last one, right? No. Yes, we do have to let off on the last one, so that way we can drop down right over there. We shift down. There we go. I was like, if we shift down, we should be able to do it. Your very first mod was Turtwig. That's incredible. So my first one probably was Trico? I actually don't know who I chose first when I first played Pokemon Emerald. Because, like, nowadays, if you ask me, um, my favorite um, Gen 3 starter is Mudkip. Like, no question to it, Mudkip is my favorite starter. But back then, I think I might have chose Trico first. If not Trico, I probably chose Torchic. I still have the save from your first game. See, that's the great thing about DS games is those saves last. Like... Whereas, and they'll last for a while, unlike, like, people whose first game was, like, Pokemon, like, red or blue, like, those saves are dead at this point. Has a lot of hacked ones for a friend. Uh, my Pokemon Diamond cartridge has a lot of hacked Pokemon in it, which is why I have not turned it back on, uh, because it is, uh, like, it works, but I'm not gonna, like, use any, because so many Pokemon were action replayed in. Um, there was a, when I, when I was at school, uh, a friend had Pokemon, uh, Pearl, I think it was, but he had an action replay, and he, and it's like right when the action replay came out, he was like, yo, look at all this cool stuff I have, and I was like, whoa, I want some cool stuff, uh, so I ended up, he ended up putting it in where my entire Pokedex was completed, I had every single Pokemon in my PC, and I was like, oh, this is so cool, and then I was like, well, there's no reason for me to play this anymore. I was like, why? I was like, there's no reason for me to play this anymore because I don't, I have, I have all the Pokemon. So I kind of just like stopped playing it. 
My very first mod was Bulbasaur named Sid. He'll always have a special place in my heart. See, my first time I played Pokemon, I didn't tend to name Pokemon. I still honestly tend to not name Pokemon. Um, spe I mean, specifically for the living decks, we're not doing it because of... Just for the sake of... It, it'll just be every Pokemon in there. But I mean... Yo, Gibble, there you are! Even when I'm playing, like, uh... Like, Pokemon by myself, I tend to not name them. Alright, I actually don't know... I, I didn't think through what I'm going to use to do the least amount of damage to you. I bought a second diamond and my brother per brought a new pearl so we can play without resetting. That's the smart way to do it. Alright, Dragon Ground um, is, of course, the typing. Just... I don't want to kill you. Weak to Ice Dragon and Fairy... Damn it, uh, resistant to poison, rock, and fire. I have nothing that you're resistant to, so we'll just go with Aqua Jet, which should be fine. Yeah, he'll he'll dra kill me with one Dragon Rage. Ooh, shoot, he has Takedown. Takedown has Recoil, does it not? I'm not misremembering that, right? Takedown has Recoil? Bye, buddy. <laughs> you're dead. Dragon Rage is currently great in our... Um, if you have to do two on you, is currently great in our uh, in our Nuzlocke because we, we caught a Pokemon with Dragon Rage and it just one-shots every single Pokemon because we're still near the beginning of the game and no Pokemon is over level 20 yet, so every Pokemon has less than 40 HP. It's honestly amazing. Huh. Okay, then. Alright, we'll, we'll probably only try and catch one today and I'll catch one off-screen for later because um, it's I can't imagine we're going to catch it very easily. Why? Auto, auto mod caught your message because you used, you used the word he? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know why it caught you for using the word he. He, he dinosaur is the term that it, that auto mod stopped you on. If that is something offensive, I don't think it is. I think it is. Uh, what was that new feature? It said mods were checking my comments. No, that was auto mod catching you. That was auto mod uh, catching what you what you said. Gibble, just let me catch you. Gibble, please. I don't know if I have anything that'll do barely, barely any damage to him, because I don't have anything that he's uh, resistant to. Because actually, the only person who has a... Uh, ha oh, that's ground type. Uh, you sandstorm. Oh, shoot. Are you are you immune to sandstorm? Are you immu immune to the Darude sandstorm? They are. Mud slap. Would Mud Slap be okay here? Oh, it doesn't matter because Shellis is dead, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, does he want to have Tackle by Barrel? Do you have Tackle? You have Hyper Fang. You used to have Tackle. So you have Tackle, though. So that's before said something about killing a TOS. Yeah, if you say Lynch, Automon catches you for Lynch. Your kid, you're you're telling me a tackle, a tackle took him out. Ah, oh, it's fine. We'll get another one while we make our way through here. Making our way through here, walking fast, walking fast, and we're walking fast. Ground still in rock or a moon or to Darude. Right, we'll get him up since uh, Shayla should be able to do. Uh, that's just frustrating because we don't have any we don't have any status affecting moves right now. I'm not going fast. Oh, I hit I hit B again when I came out, so we shift it down. And I need you, and I miss you, and now I wonder if Onyx raged into the sky, would Onyx go? away from me now. Did I? I did, but I, I mean, I don't have any, uh, any type effective uh, Pokemon on me. 
None of them are on me, though. It doesn't. But we can always come back here. I'm just like, we might as well make our way through here. Luxio now has bragging rights. Just tackled a dragon and knocked him out cold. <laughs> that That's Luxio trying to tell me, don't you dare replace me with a Rotom. I'm so much better than that Rotom is. There we go. Barrel, my friend from school is playing Diamond and Pearl for the first time. Hey, hi, Gibble. She loves Bi- Bidoof is great. Bidoof and Bi Barrel are great. Um, do we go for the Mud Slap? Go for the Mud Slap, right? That shouldn't do too much. Yeah, that's actually nice. Just don't go for a Dragon Rage, please. Yeah, use Sand Attack or something. Do things where I can slowly hit you with this a couple times. Um. Hmm. Maybe we should have led with a Water Pulse. How much damage does... What is what is Water Pulse? Please, please remind me... Water Pulse power. 60. Mud Slap is 20, but Mud Slap is also... Or we go for the Mud Bomb, which is 65. Let's actually go for the Mud Bomb. It's, it's more power, so it should do a little bit more damage. And it'll also decrease... Um, yeah, that's actually perfect. Yeah, that's actually perfect. It drops his accuracy, so it misses Sand Attack. And then we'll hit a Mud Slap. Alright, at least they, they haven't gone for Dragon Rage, which is great right now. Mud Slap. Don't kill it. Ah, perfect. There we go. There we go. Nice and low HP. I need my uh, Dead Rotom Zoomer. Especially in this day and age. That That's honestly a solid name. I almost accidentally ran, and I was like, no way, don't run! I wish we had something more than Pokeballs, though. I wish we had something more than Pokeballs. Bum, bum. Staravia is called a Reppy. Nice. Bag. Pokeball. Go! I believe in a Pokeball. Two. Three. Alright, well, last time we had two shakes, then we had three shakes, so the next one obviously is going to catch. Oh my gosh, I need to catch it before it does another takedown and kills itself. As soon as it hit that takedown, I was like, oh, we're, we're done, with, we're done for. Catch it. Catch it. It's on like two or three HP, it's got to be. One, two, three. Yes. Yes. Gibble has been caught our 368th Pokemon. My gosh, that was oof. That could have been that could have been bad. That was easy. It was so easy. First try, honestly. First first try, 100%. No one can tell me that wasn't my first try. You have no proof. Uh where's Gibble? At? There's Gibble. Gibble and in the spreadsheet as well. In the spreadsheet as well. Beautiful. Give a nickname. No. Just amped up the suspense. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. We were just amping up the suspense. That's all it was. And like I said, I will come here um, off off stream and I'll catch another Gibble. That way it'll just sit in our... Um, it'll just sit in our party. Or not our party, in our PC. Um, oh, oh. Okay. Perfect. I just went with it. I was like, I can't slow down. I just have to go and hope it hope it goes well. Man, it'd be sucked if you get if you got stopped by a Pokemon when you went to make that second jump and you just hit a wild encounter and you're just like, nope, sorry. Which we do have a super repel that we did pick up earlier that we can use. Um, if it comes to it, since we we have the gibble that we came here for. Alright. Um we could drop back and get uh, that item there, and we can still keep coming forward. <clears throat> and it's a rare candy. Cool. If you run into another Thimwat, I'll, I'll just probably try and kill it. 
I mean, if I catch it, cool. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna go out of my way and try and catch it here. We'll see what happens if I would have water pulsed it instead. First off, um, I'll throw a ball at it because it that just saves me time later. Yeah, water pulse honestly was the move until it hurts itself and kills itself right here. No, it goes for the takedown. Critical hit. Okay, it's on like one HP. Ah, you dick. You dick. Kill yourself. Don't do it. Goes for Sandstorm. Okay. 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 Alright. <laughs> I was like, I swear if this thing does this and then it confuses and kills itself, I'm going to be so irritated at it. If we catch another one, awesome. If not, like I said, I'll just come back later and do it. It's, it's really not a big deal to me. But we don't have to. But we don't have to. All right, extra in PC. And then this one just sits in our PC. Or the other one we take. I don't know, we'll have to, we'll have to look at the stats and decide which one we'd rather have. Uh, let me go ahead and super potion of Helios. We need Helios up to level 30 before they evolve. Am I good or what? Yeah, that was some great timing. That was some great timing. If you encounter another what? Ah, uh, nothing. Oh, well, here's another one. So I guess, I guess we'll catch it. Bum, bum, bum. You don't want three? Uh, at, um, they were telling me earlier in Platinum, once we get to, um, uh, Victory Road there is uh, Gabite, which is uh, stage one spawns there. So the Giva we just caught will stay in our PC. Uh, the one we caught before that, we will take all the way to Garchomp. And then once we get to Victory Road, we'll catch Gabite there. <clears throat> which will save me grinding time. Because honestly, that's just grinding I do off stream once we catch the first, once we get the second one up. Oh my gosh, we're not going fast enough. I actually don't know how to make, how to do this. I don't know how to do this. I don't know if we'll turn fast enough. I don't know if we'll be able to turn fast enough for that. Aw oh, man, I wish it would've got confused and hurt itself for real that time. How many am I missing? Um, total, I have caught 368 Pokemon. Um, so I am missing, uh, 420. Am I missing 420 on the dot? Never played this one. Oh, that's totally fair. I, I've never played Platinum either. I played Diamond my, uh, my first time around. And then I was like, I mean, if we're gonna play it, I was like, we might as well get Platinum and play Platinum since it's the Director's Cut tends to have more Pokemon spawns. Um, I, I think I might have geared down. I think I might have geared down. I think that's why I messed that up there. Because I was hitting, uh, spamming B to get out of the battle. That's what's gonna, uh, screw me with this bike so often, is when I just hit B and shift down. I tried it, but I only missed, like, three because of event Pokemon. I am lucky enough 520? Oh, it is five. Is it five? It is 520. I can do math. No, I can't. You think I can do math? Um, I am lucky enough that I have, uh, ev I, I have all those event Pokemon already. 530? Yeah, 530. My math was real off. I'm lucky that I, over time, have managed to get every event Pokemon, every mythical and all that, and I already have them sitting in my Pokemon bank. Um, when I first started this run, they were spread up between multiple different game cartridges from different times over the years. Um, so I went and moved them all into my Pokemon bank. And then whenever we finish a generation, any mythical that I have, I just put it into place. Um, so like when we finished off uh, Pokemon Red, which was the first game that we played about a year ago, uh, as I transferred everything to Pokemon Bank and put them into their place, because they're in place 1 through 150, then we took my one of my Mews and put them in place. Because I have, I have so many Mews now. I say so many, I have like less than 10. 
Luckily, when I was young, uh, when the, uh, yeah, it's, it, it is lucky. It is very lucky. Apparently, I can't do math. It's 11 p.m. Uh, listen, as far as, as far as they know, they think it's, uh, 11 p.m. for me, too. Because we time traveled so we could get Rotom. But all the legendaries will catch on stream, but as far as mythicals and all those are concerned, we will do those um, away. Man, I wish I had fly so I could just fly away from this place. I was like, why am I not running? I'm off my bicycle. I was too young. Also, I don't have diamond and pearl. 5 p.m. It is actually uh, 6 p.m. for me. Uh, but we, we time traveled. Uh, so that way we could uh, we could get Rotom while we were at the old chateau. The old chateau. But this has been my ongoing challenge that I've been doing, uh, like I said, for about a year now. Playing every generation of Pokemon, catching them all as best we can. I had someone comment on a video, because uh, they were like, oh, well, this is Gen 6, because I was playing Alpha Sapphire. And I was like, yes, but I can't capture Pokemon Emerald. I was like, I don't have the ability to, uh, to capture uh, Game Boy Advance games. I wish I could. That'd be cool. This is obviously 11 p.m. I'm going to head to bed. No worries. Thank you so much for swinging by. Um, I, I'm glad you were able to show up and we were able to uh, chat here about the day. I'm probably I'm going to be wrapping up rather soon, too. We're going to make it back to the Pokemon Center, uh, and I'm going to call it for my day as well. This is my second stream of the day. We streamed this morning, um, and then I was like, I really want to play more Platinum and actually get some work done in Platinum. So uh, that is what we did. These remakes will be the first time I've ever been to Sinnoh. Ah! It is exciting. Sinnoh is a great region. I am very excited for the remakes. I think they are going to be an absolute blast to play through again. Um, especially for me because I we, we should be finishing this up. Am I going to stream tomorrow? Yes, we are going to be live at 4 p.m. EST tomorrow with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Sin oh, Cynthia. Cynthia is the most difficult gym. Uh, it, Cynthia is the most difficult champion of any Pokemon game. I don't think they've made a harder champion than Cynthia. That's why, like, that's what kills me about the Pokemon Journeys TV show, is they're trying to tell me that Leon is still unbeatable. I'm sorry, has Cynthia not attempted to come and fight him yet? Uh, they messed up the stars, right? They have to put the three best. <laughs> but, ah, I do enjoy Pokemon Journeys, though. I've said it, I've talked about it before. Pokemon Journeys, I think, has been the best anime so far. I want to copy in almost every playthrough yet. Yeah. She just has such a, a a good team, and the AI is so smart. So that's what kills me about the fact that they're like, yeah, Leon's the unbeatable. And I'm like, well, is he? Is he? Is he? Bum, 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 bum. Who even is Leon? Right? He's pants with directions. We know that much. Spirit Pillar and Cynthia better have... Oh, they do. They have some solid themes. Cynthia is just too... Good. Yeah, she's like, yeah, I'm, I'm too... I'm not even gonna attempt it. She's like, I'm not even gonna attempt it. Cricketoon! Man, Cricketoon, I, I was hoping I'd see you. This is the reason why we did uh, time travel back to our correct time, because I was hoping to come across a Cricketoon. I was hoping to come across Cricketoon. Um, okay, we'll go for the we'll go for the mud bomb. Uh, we'll go for the mud bomb, which should do. We're, we're basically doing what we just did with Gibble, where I'm like, what move can I do that does barely any damage, but does enough damage to slowly do? It? And mud bomb is that. Oh, they're storing energy. They're storing energy. Keep storing, please. Keep storing your energy for a mud slap. Or a lesion. Yikes. Yikes. I was like, please, I was like, I was like, give, give me one more chance. Oh yeah, we're super red, <laughs> super dead. But I'm like, give me one more chance, please. One more chance. Alright, we'll come and we'll do a tackle. A tackle. A tackle, right? A tackle should be fine. No! Why did it crit? Why did it crit? Ah, the one time you don't want to crit. It's like, ah, please, whatever you do, do not crit. Oh, you critted. 
Yeah, because of RNG. It's got to be. Got to do it to him. Santhia goes over to Leon. Dynamaxes Garchomp, which bites Gigantamax Charizard's head off. Honestly, yeah. I, I, I am really excited to see. Uh, Journeys has been great, though, because while they've had Dynamax, and Dynamax has been a thing, and they've talked about Dynamax, and we've seen Pokemon Dynamax, they've also still had Mega Evolution. And I'm like, ah, oh, that, that's so cool that they just have all of it happening. Because I'm like, that's... Honestly, I wish they would do that in Generation 9. Like, you, you can get Mega Stones, and you can Mega Evolve, but there are some places you can Dynamax. Like, Dynamax Adventures, I think, are super dope, and I think they should keep Dynamax Adventures around. It's a much more interesting way to shiny hunt and, like, do stuff. It's great. Uh, do you have... Uh, Roka, do you have one that you prefer? Just genuinely curious. Because typically, at least what I, from what I've seen from people, people if people hate Dynamax, and they typically love Mega Evolution. I think Mega Evolution is anytime anytime Mega Evolution happens, it just makes me think of Digimon. Anytime Mega Evolution happens, it just makes me think Digimon. Bum, bum. Which isn't a bad thing. I mean. That, they're, they're similar they're similar concepts Pokemon did better in the in the West uh, Digimon's still fun um, and Digimon is definitely geared for a depth for a different uh, group Z moves I'm see I'm not super familiar with Z moves because I didn't play a lot of uh, a lot of sudden moon uh, but I remember a lot of people did like them but Z moves is because I didn't watch the anime around the time because it's been a while since I have watched any of the animes outside of journey. Isn't Z move how is is Z moves how Ash and Ash's Greninja is that how they like turned into Greninja Ash? That's a thing, right? Did someone say Digivolve? D -d 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 Digivolve. Digivolve into Ultimate. Digimon, you did all must Digimon are the champions. I want you all to know, um, and I feel like it's important that I that I state this. I don't want to be. Um, don't. Why do you keep critting? Stop critting. Um, I have never seen Digimon. Digimon's great. Um, on the on the twenty fifth anniversary of Pokemon, after we hung out, we played Pokemon. We had a great day. I enjoyed Pokemon. We had so much fun. Um, we. I ended the day uh, by watching a Digimon movie. <laughs> I've been watching my way through the Digimon Tri series. It's a series of six movies that take place after the events of the Digimon anime. And so I was watching that already. And I was like, oh, well, let me finish this one because I had it paused. Um, and so I finished the Pokemon 25th anniversary by uh, watching a Digimon movie. And I was like, mm, is this? I feel dirty doing this. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish it. You came just in time. Uh, you're near the end of the stream, so I, I guess that's just in time. I want to catch. I just want to catch this Cricketune so badly. Uh, just give me Cricketune, please. Ponyta, you are not Cricketune. Incidentally, you're not Cricketune. Uh, Cricketune is a ten percent chance. It's a ten percent chance to spawn in here. Bum, bum. And this is the last patch of grass in here, which is why I'm just sitting on this patch of grass. Sacrilege. D two is the two meant as uh, as I. Bum, bum. I think after the after I, after we fit after if, if I can catch this Cricketune, I at least want one more attempt at Cricketune here, and if I can catch it, cool. If not, I I give up for the night, and the next time we stream, we will just do some more time traveling to get it to spawn. Um, because I know Percy's like Percy, Percy's like, hi, can I go outside now? And I don't I don't want it to be too dark out before we go for a walk because I want to take a nice long walk. I I've uh, I've been trying to. Uh, get myself more active uh since i'm returning to work at the end of the at the end of the month and i have done so little physical activity over the past year 
Um, so I've been trying to take uh, some longer walks when it's cooler out, just to build those muscle backs back up. What is what is DIJK man? What is that? Bum, 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 bum. Oh, is there a new box out for uh, TCG? I just saw someone go live in their opening battle style. I it's been so long since I have since I have had I feel like a a vested interest into the Pokemon TCG. We used to stream the Poke we used to stream Pokemon TCG so much last year and i i enjoyed so much playing and opening cards for it but now over the over the last year it is so hard to find card packs that it's just ruined my it's ruined fun because i haven't been able to open them and play with them and i just haven't found any i'm just like i'm just done with it and i'm like i just want to be able to buy to buy a couple packs here or there. I don't want to buy I, all these giant packs and resell them. I just want them for me. Wait, returning to work? Yes. Have you have you not heard the news? Um, last week I got a phone call. I have been rehired. I have a job again. Unleashed his energy. That's fine. I got him down to almost no health. I'd be AFK for a bit. No worries. Um, Star Ravia Knights. Cut that attack for no real reason. Hope he gets in this ball. Aw, oh, man, we should have picked up some uh, some nest balls. Because bug type. Mm. Oh, well. We got him in the Pokeball. No! Ah! Oh, he tricked me. He bamboozled me. He took me out to dinner and left me with the bill. We get him on this one. Yo, there we go. 369. Very nice. Very, very nice. Cricketune was caught. And thus we can scroll up here. Put in Cricketune. Nope, not control B, control V. Cricketune has been caught. Beautiful. Give a nickname. No. No, we will not give a nickname. There is no need for us to nickname this cricket tune. Bum, 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 bum. Do you want to come sit with me? Here, come on. Come here. Come say hello to everyone. Come say hi to the stream. Everyone say hi to Percy. Say hi, Percy. Ah, oh, such a good puppy. Ah, oh, such a good puppy. He's come here to tell me it's time for him to walk. He's like, hi, hello. I am here. T I am here once again requesting you to take me on a walk. Oh, don't fall. Uh, you're in a very precarious position right now, puppy. You're in a very precarious position. Ooh, a nose pass. We don't need nose pass. Never mind. I said that in a way of like, ah, oh, shoot. We need to catch this nose pass. We do not need to catch this nose pass because we caught bo both nose pass and probo pass um, when we played through uh, Alpha Sapphire. So we need neither of them. I am still working on on the the event in Pokemon Go uh, to get Probo Pass and uh, or the Nose Pass and Probo Pass and get them shiny. I have not had uh, I have not had much luck catching Ground types, which is mainly what the event focuses on. So you'd think there'd be more Ground type spawning, but I have not had I've had like a ton of other Pokemon spawning, which has been nice. So, all right, Route Two Hundred Eight. I think we'll wrap up uh, once we get to uh, once we get to the next city that we're going to. Um, because I have Gibble, so I have no reason to cut to backtrack. Because originally I was going to just save there, so that way I could come on and catch um, catch Gibbles there. But this is where we'll head up here. We'll have the Pokemon Center. Heal up, and then we'll head to the next town. And once we get there, we will wrap up for the day. We honestly... See, this is why I wanted to stream this again today. Because this is the progress that we should have done Tuesday. But Tuesday, none of this progress happened because we were not leveled properly. We were not leveled properly at all on Tuesday. 
So this is why I wanted to come back and stream it today. Um, I just want to check if there is any other Pokemon between here and there that we need to try and catch. No, on the next route, there is nothing that we care for. Yeah, so we're just heading to the town. There might be some trainers along the way that we have to worry about, but for the most part, nothing really to, to worry about. Let's also open up the PC. Someone's PC. And let's check out our Rotom, our beautiful Rotom. Um, it is a modest nature. Thundershock, Confuse Ray, Uproar, and Double Team. And then our Gibbles, uh, we have a Brave Nature, Sand Attack, Dragon Witch, Sandstorm, Takedown, and then a Quiet Nature. Solid. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'll grab one of them at some point. Before I, I grab them onto my team, though, I do want to remove a Pokemon from my team. Uh, mainly um, either uh, Floatzel once they evolve or uh, Shellos once, once they evolve. But that's I. They're both very close to evolutions. I'll probably want to keep one of them so I have a water type. Um, so I have someone who can do some water moves. But that is that is something for us to figure out at another time. Now let me see how much you've raised your Pokemon. Which would probably be helpful if I had one of them leading instead of Barrel, who doesn't need to lead. Um, and then I'll also probably do a, a tiny, 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 tiny bit of grinding in between now and next time just to put everyone probably at level... Uh, which I might not need to, honestly. I say that. I, I'll probably get Luxio up. Um, I need you to 26. I'll probably get Luxio up because uh, I, I do want to get rid of Luxio at some point. Um, once I evolve them to a Luxray, which I don't remember what level they what I don't remember which level Luxray evolves. Uh, what is that email? Oh. Alright, sorry, I have to... I just got my offer. So, for me to apply back to my job, I had to go fill out an application again. And I just got an email, uh, in which I can... Oh, you got murdered. You got murked. Uh, sign in, sign in LinkedIn. Okay, let me do this on... You know what, I'll, I'll do... We're about to wrap up. I'll do this after the stream. It's not super... It's not super important that I do this right now. Um, wait, 30 question mark? What's the 30 question mark? Chelos is 30. Oh, for Luxray. For Luxray, because that's what I was Googling before I got distracted by seeing I had an email. I've been waiting for that email all day. Uh, and I, I saw that I had finally popped in and I got distracted. I get distracted pretty easily. But 30 makes sense. So we'll probably get him up to, to that level so that way we can get him to level 30. Uh, and we can be done with him. We can be done with him. Because a little bit of peek behind the curtain, what I'll probably do is go catch a... Uh, I'll go catch a... Uh, a Shinx off stream, level it up to a Lux to a Lux row, so that way once this one evolves, it's still in a place. It's a new Pokemon, and then we'll go catch a Shinx on stream at some point. I should I should have caught it tonight, uh, but I didn't feel like backtracking that much. But I should have just went and caught it tonight. But we'll stream this next week. Uh, next week, uh, Tuesday, we'll probably do Living Decks again. So the next time we'll uh, oh yeah we snapped out of confusion, but we're paralyzed. Snapped out of our confusion, though. Uh, Tuesday morning, we'll probably do Living Dex, 10.30 a.m. EST. Uh, and then Thursday, we're doing Town of Salem. Um, I do. I need to finish up Mystery Dungeon. Uh, Saturday, or Sunday, not Saturday. We're confused. Watch us get through the paralyzation this time, but hurt ourselves with confusion. Yep. Yep. Um, Sunday we may we may return to Mystery Dungeon because I need to finish up Mystery Dungeon really bad. Uh, do a little bit of Mystery Dungeon and then maybe switch over to our, our Gen 2 Nuzlocke, if not on Friday. Because I, I want to continue our Gen 2 Nuzlocke, but I also, I want to play more Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I feel like we've barely made it through uh, Valhalla at all. Tomorrow will probably be a, a longer stream because I want to play a ton of Valhalla. Because I, I don't think I don't even think we're like fifty percent away fifty percent through the story at this point, and we've already we've already put a, 
a decent amount of hours into it. No, keep battling. Am I the only one that Bonsley and Pseudo Wudo used to confuse me so much as a kid just because I would look at how the Pokemon looks and assume they're a grass type? Like, I must, I must have done that for years and could never understand why my water moves were uh, not very effective. I'm like, why, why is it my water move hurting them? Or, no, not my water move. Why is it my fire move hurting them? They're a, they're a, they're a grass type. They just look like a stupid grass type. Um, 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 bum, bum. Alright, bye bye, Eevee. Breeder Albert. Good stuff. Aw, oh, thanks for telling me good stuff. Nope, not you. Pardon me. Are we going up here? No, we probably need to pass these two here. Shoot, I still have by barrel up front. I don't need by barrel up front. By barrel, by barrel needs the experience. Um, but if I could have, if I could have uh, one of the others evolve in this stream and just get another Pokemon up, that'd be cool. We've just been slow going in Gen Four, which tends to be the case anytime. Uh, anytime you, I start a new generation, typically the first like four or five streams. We barely add any Pokemon to the top, because what is... What have we added? <clears throat> when we started Pokemon Platinum, we ha we caught... Our, our, our starter, Turtwig, was our 354th Pokemon. So since we've been playing through Pokemon Platinum, which this is now our fourth session in Platinum, we're only up to 369. On Tuesday, I only added two Pokemon to the decks. My barrel went up to level 22, nice. Um, double slap. Slap and slap, slap. Do you have a Munchlax? I, I don't think I do, actually. Let me check. Well, if I, if I spell Munchlax correctly, uh, Munchlax is Generation 4. I do not have one as of yet. So I, that is uh, that is another one. He is uh, he ta he exists in the decks right after Garchomp, actually. Huh. Yeah, I have to look up some stuff for that. We also need to get Porygon in this in this game, because uh, I I did not catch a Porygon. Is that just a Pikachu? Hi hi, I'm a Pokemon. It's not a Pikachu. It's a kid. It's a kid dressed as Pikachu, using a Pichu. Very, very... I'll have to look up some stuff for it and figure that one out. Bum, bum. Ah, of course we get... Of course we get static. <clears throat> but we did pick... We do already have the upgrade, which is nice, so we'll be able to get Porygon 2 as well. Because I believe Porygon 2 was just straight up Gen 2, wasn't it? Hi, right, can I search? Hi, right, please let me search. We just lost a lot of progress. 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 Well, that's where we're gonna go ahead and wrap up for the day. Uh, <laughs> It's fine. I will. I will get us back. Uh, I will get us back to where we were. Uh, it's fine. I will get us back to where we were. Uh, that is why you should save often, um, and not stupidly like I do, where I I do so many intermittent saves. You need to save often before you do stupid things and press a key um, and revert stuff. So that's fine. I'll just. That's just something for me to do off camera. 
it's honestly not going to be that big of a deal. It's just more so going to be irritating. I did save when I changed the time. So that's that's the save I'll, I'll be able to revert to. Uh, so all, I, all I'll be missing is... Which is why I'm just like, ah, I have to go catch both those gibbles again. And then I, and then just a few levels. We didn't do much after that. The two gibbles, uh, the Cricketune and the Cricketot, and Rotom, obviously. Uh, I think that was it. I think it's just the five Pokemon. Yeah, and Rotom. Yeah. So that, yeah, yeah, super easy. Um, uh, I will do that, and I, it, that, honestly, not that big of a deal. Uh, just more, so, more so frustrating. What? Because I was trying to type, and I pressed the wrong stupid key. Porygon Z was introduced in Gen 5. Porygon 2 was Gen 2. YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. YouTube, definitely come join us over on Twitch. If you want to see more, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.